So we're going to say hello again to you two as we continue our Christmas Eve PSO-a-thon that it has turned into. We have with us Vishamu, Adrius, and I believe Parameter's character here. Looking to get the 73 to 80, and then we're going to move on to probably more challenging runs. Help the people that just entered Ultimate get some levels. So we'll rotate the people through a little bit, but hopefully today has been a good day for XP boosting. So we'll probably do a mix of whatever the chat would like, mixed with some things that I want to do. So I'm thinking we'll transition into things like TTF, because that was a chat request. We'll also do some uh, fiascos, potentially, because that is a personal request. In particular, that pink ID we just got would be pretty good for fiasco. But anyway, let's uh, do some casual... <laughs> Not new mop-up operation. I mean, I could. Let's start with some bees. Well... Hmm... Two forces... Thinking... Yeah, let, let's stick to the, the typical. I thought about new mob up Operation 3. Our team's not bad for it. But uh, if we get knocked down by a uh, Goron Detonator, we're in for some sad times. So we'll do some of these just to get a little more tickets to everybody. And then if we're super close, maybe we just fiasco to the end for three coal. As I said before, I want to get a couple more presents. We've been getting a lot of low difficulty presents, but fiasco will guarantee that I get some ultimate presents. I think this week is good just to do whatever you want. There's no pressure for rare enemy, drop rate, or whatever you want. So it's better just to get your characters that are on the cusp of being able to solo up to that point where the better runs or to start fresh, get better ID coverage. And apparently go back for more Rappy Speaks. We had a moment of despair that I think was not captured on uh, the recording, but I saw my wall of Rappy Beak. It was a at least a two page up down scenario of Rappy Beaks. So there is quite a few we'll end up getting rid of at some point. Elk Leave has graciously accepted a trade offer for them so potentially we might have to unlock more excalibur in the future which i'm kind of okay with to be honest as i said before whenever we get enough uh items that need unlocking i think we'll do an unlock stream where we play two games at once because unlocking is not the most interesting thing to watch but we we can play two games at once and go through and uh Maybe we'll beat Evo next time that occurs. So I think at this point I need either Proof of Sword Saints that people need unlocked or uh, General Limiters. So I think Spare Excaliburs is kind of nice. That roll ATP important for Vault Up with the Gazan strat since it only considers your ATP even with techniques on the first phase. But also a pretty useful item to use against Vol- uh, or not Vol- uh, best, uh, D roll relays Worm Form. Where hitting three components with a sacrifice is incredibly good. Still quite useful in other rooms, of course. But I think now that Galatine's been unlocked... I think in some scenarios, Galatine is actually better. But only in the sense if you don't need to hit more than one thing at once. Galatine has more ATP, which matters a bit more for characters like Forces. You'll still use Excalibur for the most part on the other characters. But it's nice that we're having a little bit of a meta variety with the endgame weapons. So maybe at some point we'll do more runs for Galatine. I saw that we were, uh, not we, but a couple people and one person on stream managed to get a Galatine in Ultimate Presence. I think that would be one of my ideal drops, to be honest. 30 hit is more than good enough for what I need it for. Ideally, we're going to see something other than charge guns when we get our next present, but I feel like the odds are pretty low. I'm not holding out for those hopes. I say no to the zoo here. We're going to resound here to stop them from lasering. We do think they're going to laser, we just do that to reset their AI.
can use Barda here since it's more damaging than Robarda versus single target. It's also faster, I think, than Robarda. Pretty quick. Maybe. It's more pronounced between Gafoe and Rafoe, I'll put it that way. It's harder to tell with the other one. We'll look at the frame data later. Rip satellite lizards. Already 74, then we're off to a good start there. Select cloak. I think that's for Grant's boost. Welcome, Charlie. Hope you're doing well. Hopefully you've been keeping Chris in check over there. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to talk to him, but hopefully his tooth is better. Thank you, Try, for giving the shout out. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of heavy streaming this week since we had a couple of vacation days. We've mostly been focused on what we see in front of us. Ah, oh, but now we know you used to play Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think I remember something about, like, moving away from the beans. So that's still a thing? Okay. Unfortunate. People not aware, people would redeem him eating those, uh, kind of... It's either a good flavor or a bad flavor beans. With the music pause, what happened? Apparently it did. It's like, I'm like, there's no way that was the end of the soundtrack. I don't believe that. It hasn't been on that long. Hmm. Yeah, once we take a break from PSL, I'm probably going to do some mod work for, uh... Mayhem. There's a couple of small fixes I want to add. But that requires time. And during a special event in PSL, I don't want to split my free time focus. My free time focus is PSL. But after the event is over, it'll die down a little bit. We're currently doing like a million games simultaneously this week. And just think about everything that I think I've played today, I think, or within the week. Things like Judgment, Speak It In, Phoenix Wright, Illusion of Gaia, Air Enigma, ESO. Quite a variety within the past week or so. I'm gonna do a Kingdom Hearts 2 multi on New Year's Eve. And I was gonna say, and what day will that end on? <laughs> and like, always start New Year's Eve. Oh, it'll finish by like January 3rd. I've seen those seeds. Who's making the seed, Charlie? That's the question you gotta ask. We gonna, we gonna see Christogrim make it, and suddenly your first boss check is like Data Sephiroth? Data Sephiroth required. Our practice run went well. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna say that's why I was saying that's why I was saying it'll take four days to finish. The size, the, the, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's via Archipelago. I mean, that hasn't stopped a, a Chris Grimm stream from uh, going on for like 12 hours. Yeah, maybe one day, chat, we'll do some Archipelago. There was a game I was considering playing outside of uh, PSO for team play. And that was uh, Time Spinners. I had a lot of fun with that game. I think I would like to revisit that in 2024. It didn't end up working out this year since I didn't have a lot of uh, free time lineup with Calvisha. But I think I know I would want Calvisha in on at least one of those. Because it sounds like basically everybody that's played it has enjoyed it. So there you go. Free endorsement Time Spinner. 
But it, it was fun. I think the mobility in the game is one of those things. We're talking about that, I think, in the previous YouTube recording, but earlier in the stream as well. Uh, you know, I will replay for story occasionally, but the gameplay is really solid. I'll play it again and again. And I did like the gameplay of that game. Yeah, I was hoping to keep it a little more fresh in the head for doing runs since I don't remember the plot as well now that it's been a few months. But I might revisit it later. Yeah, I don't I don't think I can commit to an ar archipelago on that day though, even if I wanted to. We got potentially some PSO things going on. We do our own little end of the year thing. But I'll try to stop by on yours. Oops, fireball. Already level 75. That's a good sign. Two levels per quest. I have PSO to attend to. Actually, I have the end of the end of the year stream retrospective. Although I'm contemplating if I want to rename it. Retrospective is a very it's a very business term. It just it comes up because that's what I call it at work, but it's you know. <laughs> We, we could simplify the, the terminology a little bit. This will be streaming as part of it, so even though I'll not be streaming, you'll still hear me. I'll just hear through the headset, Chris! <laughs> oh my gosh, could you imagine if you could force his uh, game to have certain songs? Like, guaranteed. Just surprise him with, like, a Oops All Little Mermaid. I'm sure he'll love it. <laughs> Glad the practice run has been going well. I didn't play very much of Kingdom Hearts in general, but I think I've mostly seen the game through between uh, Chris's streams of it and other things. I have a vague idea of the challenges in the game itself. Ooh, level 76. That's actually extremely good. Might take less runs than I thought. And after this, I think we're going to focus on uh, Assistant before some ultimate runs for XP. For people that are just fresh into 80. Can enjoy all this XP. Level 95 force, pretty good given where you were earlier today. Should make soloing pretty easy. Although, as I said before, my materials and mind mag are high priority, so hopefully you're able to get some of those. Levels, levels can make up for some of that, but not all of it. Let's heal the group. Actually, I should back up slightly. So about where, I think about where I'm standing here. If you stand right about here and a little more to the left, maybe. Yeah, I think where the hunter is right now. It's If you stand here versus going all the way over there, what'll happen is all the zoos are forced to dive bomb you. It's like a very subtle AI manipulation. But if we do it right, see how they both dive bombed? I want to see that, and chat can kill everything else. There's like a certain- it, it's- it's 100% manipulatable. But just so chat is aware, there's little optimizations you could do so you don't get like murdered. Of course in like high level play, you could just have people target said zoos. But just if you're playing solo in particular, you have to be doing this quest. Going backwards after your first Gurdabulu means you don't get knocked down, and it means you don't need to really worry about the zoos. So if you just focus on Stunlock with Rezond or whatever, it's usually good enough. 90 mine materials? That's pretty good. I think you said you were at like 60-something earlier, right? That means you've been picking up a lot. I'm sure the uh, the, the cookie quest uh, potentially spamming a million of them on the floor is help. We're gonna do the most important check in the run. 
Nice, nice. So most important check in the run, Chad. You ready? People forget to do it. Oh, there we go. Chat's doing it. You resond here. You resond here. Those that aren't aware, I'll show once on stream for those that haven't seen it before. There are items on the other side of the wall. So you can see there's four checks there. And on this side of the wall, there are three checks. Maybe three checks there. It could be four as well. I just might not have gotten an item there. And what that'll do for you is potentially photon drops and or photon crystals, depending on difficulty you're playing. And that is absolutely worth the check. It takes like barely any time and there's no reason not to do it. Let's do another one. And in the quest, get our money, get some tickets for everybody. Maybe that'll be the last bit of 200,000 Vesetti you need to push a character through. And again, these are all level preps for the harder runs in Ultimate. So even if you're just a little past 80, that extra HP might matter for surviving hits later. Which is also why I'm a little hesitant to strictly go straight to TTF for some people, since uh, it could be a little brutal. I usually like other quests while leveling people in the low 80s. If people are not like 140 plus, we might do another quest for XP before we do TTF. That way we don't have like 5 million deaths that falls. There's much easier runs that net you millions of bits of XP and still give good items. Personally, I'm a big fan of the Massive Attack uh, E for the boss run all the way to the end. Episode 4. That is a lot of general XP in the quest. And for people that are low level, there's places you could just stay to avoid getting bopped by the boss. Go ahead and buff the team. So I think what we'll do, once we get everybody to 80, we'll do a check to see who's interested in playing. I think Kaiser expressed interest. If Kaiser's still around after this character hits level 80, uh, we will potentially swap some people in and out, so that way people get a fair chance to play on stream. Get rid of these. Get my visual cue. I go from the little bit of green here into Gafoe Spam. So yeah, we'll see who's around. I'm not sure. There's a lot of people that just prefer to watch. Maybe they're on the road or whatever. I don't want to make any assumptions. But we'll see who's around. Nice clear. Yeah, this episode 4 XP is so easy. You don't need super strong gear. Mostly just need a force to carry through most of it. And if you target things like the Gurdabulus, the Grand Detonators, things just become very, very easy. Like, look at this. Total shutdown with Rivarda. So unfair. Yeah, Rivarda not only stunlocks them with unarmed casting in V801, but it'll also do decent damage and it'll freeze them. So it's just your all-purpose, get off me, nice try, GG. And then on these poor Rappies and the Satellite Lizards, we could Foey spam to hopefully get some extra damage. Although, honestly, it's probably faster to Foey the last couple set like that. I'll put one more safety Foey down to try to hit the Lizards as they spawn. So if team is feeling really good against the Zoo, I might just spam Foey here to save time on this wave. And then now I can focus on the Zoos for damage. Ooh damage was so fast. I accidentally left a tri-fluid behind. I noticed when I was walking here that it was there. I just didn't go back for it for some reason. <laughs> like, I recognized it and I just was like, no. And then I looked at my tri-fluids and I'm like, hmm, regrets. Oh well. I still love that this character is almost 50% leveled through just very hard mode. So basically, what are the benefits of doing very hard mode, even though you're level 80? Well, one, you don't necessarily want to do areas that you could just barely reach unless you're a character that is already fully geared. So for example, if you are a fresh force or a fresh ranger, it is a terrible, terrible idea to do uh, TTF solo, for example, in ultimate. Whereas you could probably handle it on very hard, depending on your gear. It's not too bad. 
or you could do other quests potentially as a group like how we're doing here where the run itself is not necessarily hard there's no bosses but as long as you have just one person with decent gear they could carry you for basically equivalent xp and you still have potentially some drops to get so for example team has chances of photon crystals you have chances of bazillion materials due to the rappies you have your jaya chances heaven striker coat just what a wonderful ID, blue ideas. And all those things can help other players. So for example, if you have literally no other items and you're like a fresh character and someone boosts you through a quest like this, the tickets might end up giving you a gear assault if you get enough first place prizes with uh, the ticket hand in. You might get things like if you use Photon Crystal, that opens up solo play for normal or hard mode. So that means you could get yourself a Last Swan, a Master Raven, by playing Black Paper Be Deals 2. And potentially those items alone will be good enough to carry you to level 200 on Ultimate. You don't necessarily need, like, top of the line, perfect stats, etc, etc. Like, most of the time you just need the core weapons of the character, and then you'll play through the game and try to get better stats. So that way characters that are more picky are able to do it, or if you're looking to do... Uh, potentially time attack that's where you want as good as possible so this kind of helps with both you get a lot of potential photon drops because it's a lot of enemies at once compared to a boss rush it potentially opens up like photon crystals which again lead to new weapons that are potentially end of the game level power even just picking up like randomly like a centurion unit on hard or very hard from it is pretty strong all those things help fresh characters. You might need a little assistance maybe on Black Paper deals above normal, but the fact that you could still get like a Last Swan and Master Raven on normal is pretty funny. So like even if you're not the most geared character, like I think we could agree generally speaking, a level a level 80 character or a level 60 character will be fine on normal. <laughs> like just but something would have to go so horribly wrong for you to not be able to handle it. Like, you, you could do something like, I just don't have a weapon for Zoo, and that, that would just be your fault. But outside of, like, those truly, truly horrific decisions, uh, you're not really likely to die to it. Rip Zoo. Yeah, Voltan Crystals are also good for the people that uh, were just entering... Uh, oh, I missed the power material. That were just entering uh, Ultimate and might have a part of Baran's, for example. Because Baran's Launcher is a very meta charge weapon and one of the easiest ones to attain. Sort of also like if you are playing... Uh, not Ranger, if you're playing Force and you get a Bringer's Arm, Voltan Crystals being able to be used to increase the hit chance on it means that it's probably going to be your go-to demons for... Possibly the character's entire life cycle from 1 to 200, depending on when you get it. Because it's like just that good. But ideally at some point, for the true time savers, you're going to be looking for repeated runs to get percents on those weapons that are useful. Or... No, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> just... or, or grinding for uber rares, I guess. Regardless of percents. So most people are probably on the starting point where they're starting to get comfortable with their characters. You know, like you're, you you got your first spread needle maybe, or maybe your first fr first frozen shooter on Ranger. Uh, but being able to play in a group like this helps you kind of fill out the rest, like all those supplemental units. Maybe you'll pick up armors here and there. Like we picked up potentially like Ignition Cloak on Blue ID, which we're hoping to see with the Rare Rappy, but so far the Rare Rappy has not been cooperative with us. Uh, and that's a end game, literal top tier, never really ever going to swap it out kind of armor. And you can just get those kinds of things on very hard mode. So I think for people that don't look at the charts, you'd be surprised just how much is good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm waiting for the rare Rappy. It was kind of funny. We got like three Marissa A's or double A's, but no rare Rappy. It's kind of a shame. I want to say last time I looked, it was like 16 photon drops for a trade. Just not, not a great number to pay for, especially compared to like what you could do with those 16 initially. Like for example, getting your mind materials and bag out of the way, comparatively. 
so it's one of those ones where it's really good to have but it's like i don't think it's as run defining as like a v801 for example or the your first mind mag so it's always kind of that kind of that choice you have to make as you play with the pds what you're going to end up doing with them i mean ideally eventually would be a Ooh, item ticket nice ideally pds will eventually just go towards things like sphering that is the true endgame goal. But I guess the true trading endgame goal is high weapons, or high common weapons with hit and stuff like that. Like your ridiculous like 80 hit hells or whatever. Because those are basically not even one in a million. They're more, I think they start going into the one in a billion odds, to be honest. Like how, how perfectly everything potentially has to roll for it to drop is kind of crazy. So that is somebody sitting there and playing that roulette till the end of time. Already 78, that's a good sign. Yeah, like for me, I don't- I, I still don't have a lot of like high-end rares. I have enough that most characters can function in things like episode 2 now. So I'm definitely up a power level than people that are fresh in the game. I have a lot of characters that can be taken straight to endgame, of course. I feel pretty comfortable with a lot of my forces that just might not be the right IDs. Uh, but I'm slowly getting there with my rangers in particular. I've been having a lot of fun with Ramar. So I think if we're going to end up doing that, I'll probably do more TTF with Ramar. Grimsicle found a Gafoe level 30. Congratulations. I want to say that name sounds familiar. I want to say their user profile icon is the villain in The World Ends With You. I want to say, I don't remember his name offhand. Oh, is he the guy that screams mathematics? I forget. Get these dudes out of here though. Contemplate that for another time. Goodbye zoo, goodbye other zoo. Yeah, team already 97 and 85, not too shabby. Again, all these are just extra stats to make it a bit easier. So we'll probably have to do one more run by the looks of it. So I'm gonna ask the chat now so we can get an understanding. So we're gonna say ETA, ooh, 15 minutes, maybe closer to 18. So 15 to 18. Who would be down for some ultimate level plays? This is probably going to take at least four minutes this run and then another 15 or so next run. Well, more like 13 next run. Oops, out of PP. We'll do the speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> nice level. Ooh. Do some chain lightning here to stunlock the Grand Detonators. Also stunlocks the Zeus. Unarmed casting OP. If you V801. Bazooka. Interesting. Lone Marissa. Get Rafoid. Although, honestly, Razond also works for stunning the Gerdabulu and also hitting Marissa. I love how I just see Gerdabulu at like 16k health. I blink. Dead. <laughs> I'm just assuming the Demon Mech God is just shredding though. Just GG. Maybe we'll just do like Surface of Christmas Fiasco 4. Maybe that would be better than completing another one of these runs. I don't think we need that much more XP. Given already 78, and we're gonna clear at least one more room. Maybe that would be good for trying to fish out for rare items. Yeah, that underground XP is really good. 152 XP a second is really solid. And again, I love how much this character is leveled through, I want to say, at least 90% only very hard mode. Couple ultimate runs every, every now and then, rarely. Otherwise, this is the character that helps others. 
we tried him a little bit, I think, for TTF. Or not TTF, uh, respective tomorrow, RT. Hmm. Still haven't leveled yet, though. Interesting. Congratulations on 86.79. There we go. There's the level in 97. By zoo. I suppose I should be collecting these shields at some point to sell them for money. I, I guess that would be efficient use of my time. Some of these up. Uh... Money's never a bad thing to have extra of. Pretty much how my blue phone omen is, says Elk Leave. Yeah. I mean, they can do respective tomorrow. I mean, the sea bed is pretty sick. But yeah, I don't, I don't use them otherwise. And uh, ultimate. Assuming chat made the check, but I'll do it just in case. Yeah, let's just do surface CF4 in the next one. Extra guaranteed money. Helps out the new players. Sell our armors and yeah. So curiosity help leave. What are you running currently? You going to trade now we can? I think next run. It's not going to be well. Yeah, we'll wait a little bit. Spirit if Hulkleave wanted to do anything. Hulkleave supported the stream earlier. Potentially help Hulkleave out on a run or two. I think that is a fair thing to do. Doing nothing, debating what I'm gonna do. Hmm. New map up operation three. Interesting. Going for a Heaven Striker. Yeah, I need to get a sense of who's playing next, who's looking to tag in. With the current team, I could do some things in Episode 4, I think without an issue in Ultimate. Because I think Bishamu should stay, since Bishamu's probably played the least out of the people in the current party. I'm not sure, as I said before, if Kaiser's still around. Or if there's another person that wanted to hop in. We'll get a feel for it. Yeah, I'm gonna start Kafoe stacking with the force friend here. Just be careful about the door phone. That door phone died almost instantly. That was so sad. I'm just trying to think of consistent ways to level the party a little bit. Hmm. In honor of Helkly, we should definitely do new mop up Operation 3 at some point. I should probably switch characters to be more supportive for it though. Even mech gun too good? It is very good. Oh, sorry Kaiser. Did not realize you had to leave for work soon. That is unfortunate. Hopefully we'll play with you more next time. If <laughs> cookie runs later, that's also probably true. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that reminds me. I don't think I've technically used a cookie with, with uh, Bishamu. So let's make sure we get a cookie run in with Bishamu. And that's fair to do. I think everybody else I might have covered with one cookie, maybe? Bishamu, I think, specifically, no. Def definitely Atreus and Pyramiter and Hell Cleave. <laughs> they, they, they've, they've had cookies, it's fine. Chris, I did his cookies off stream, for those that were wondering. We did like eight, I think, off stream. He spent some of his, and it turns out he had more than he thought. I think he said he had 12 or 13 after we used his. So he still has quite a bit left over. So I think he originally thought he had 12 total, but I think he had like 21 or something, mathematically. Sorry, West Coast time zone. Sorry about that. I'll try to keep that in mind next time, Kaiser. I do apologize. Let's nuke these poor enemies, though. Come on, Dorfon, charge at me. Deal with the, all this Gafoe spam. There we go. So much DPS. Yeah, and at some point we can always cookie run. So the Pelcleave is just like, I want Heaven Striker. I'll be like, okay. It's got a shrug, like, I'm sure. All my leveling characters. Time to go to the safety zone. Safety zone. Safety zone. Ooh, team is in trouble. <laughs> Good luck, team. Fine, I'll take some damage there. And a couple good bowies out here. Hmm, didn't hit 80. Interesting. I would have thought for sure that room would have done it. Oh well, we got one more room. Get a couple dive bullets. What an annoying spawn. This is good we want another room. That's an item I want. We used 10 today. We think we want up three total. Your rats on the level up. So let me know if there's anybody else looking to hop in and take the place of one of the people. Otherwise, we will, I guess, continue with the team into ultimate. We owe help cleave runs at some point. Congrats on level 80. We'll at least finish out these waves. Then we'll we'll lobby out of here. feeling if I stayed in the middle, they wouldn't hit me with the charge. A good assumption. Try fluids attained. Die fluids. Uh, Hellcleave, did you want to do the trade now, by the way? I could take a brief break before we go into ultimate. Okay. The think team will uh, back out. I apparently have another Rappy Speak to get rid of. Uh, we'll just exit out. Hmm. 
What character should host is the question. Let's go for some general XP, I think. Yeah, TTF would be a little hard with the current group. Would work well. Oh, are you planning on swapping characters, Adrius? If you want to swap characters, that's fine. I wasn't sure if you wanted to keep playing as them. Uh, bu -bu 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 oh, gonna take a break? Okay, let me come back in then. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I, if we have four people, I wanna do a cookie, fake ID cookie. And then we'll figure out what to do from there. So I'll log back in just to take the mag back. I need to probably put some of those items away for the pick ID 4 so I can make the game with that character. Just to power level them even more. Let's make a game to do the item exchange. So many raw items. No problems, Radrius. Hopefully you get a nice meal. I'll probably take a food break at some point. As I said before, I haven't had food today. So we'll, we'll figure out where to fit it in. I'll probably go like another couple hours, then maybe I just pause the stream as I go get something for dinner. I'm just thinking how late I want to stream it. So let's see who's available. So I'm assuming Bishamu will join us. I'm assuming Imperameter will join us. I'm not sure if Health Leave will join us. I'm looking for four. I'm gonna switch in and check my bank. I was just thinking about who I needed to exchange into. And if we have four people, we do a cookie run. Otherwise, with the same characters, we'll just do a simpler run. The cookie runs are more reserved for when we have four. It could be any four. So I got some heavenlies. Yeah, I got triple heavenly. That should be good. Let's switch into our character. Hellcleave and hop in. Okay, sounds like then we got uh, our four people. If Hellcleave also then wants to transition into Hellcleave cookie runs, I'm kind of okay with that too. Today is mostly just meant for XP. So I'll host a single pink ID cookie, I'm thinking. Oh, it didn't swap my banks for some reason. That was weird. Whoops. I must not have been typing in when I thought I typed in. Switch that real quick. So if Help Cleave is interested, we could do some cookie runs, question mark. I can probably host a few greens if you need me to, Help Cleave. We'll consider that towards the 15. So I'm going to log in as pink ID, get this character some levels. Um, and then that raw, raw XP should help bring everybody basically up to a good level. I, what the, what did I, what am I doing? I swear I hit bank six. Did I not count that correctly? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I did not count that correctly. What's a good ult from my raw moral? She's green. 
Uh, yeah, I think my answer will... Yeah, definitely another Ranger of Force. I think having a character that's a cast can sometimes be useful. While cast might not be a bad one to get into. Um, Green ID specifically... I mean, as I said before, I usually kind of pair green and Viridia, one of those two, with white. Just to get things like your Slicers, your Uber Rares. But if you if you need more Ranger stuff, you need do need a purple ID at some point. Yeah, purple, purple on a Ranger is kind of nice. I think for uh, purple Raw Marl, she's got some good runs. Purple cast is still fine. Yeah, I think if you get purple, white, and green, you probably have everything you need, honestly, as a ranger. Like what you can what you can farm easily in, in white ID will cover things that you can't get in the other IDs. I think that's a safe bet. Hell Cleave can give guidance there, but I, I think so far from high level play, white ID is useful basically everywhere. Purple's useful for Ranger. Green ID is really good basically everywhere. So you can't really go wrong with those. Okay, so let's host the game. Hmm. We'll do we'll do a hint of anguish. We'll do a hint of anguish. A little, a little taste. I don't think we'll go full anguish on the first one. I'm gonna greed for that 220% XP. So we'll have Hell Cleave basically carry for damage, and then I'm assuming in Parameter we'll have Demon Mech, which will be the other thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some Heavenlies. I could make it just normal. Yeah, let me just remake it as normal until team levels once. Uh, no, it's odd beat currently. Uh, let's remake the, we'll do the first one without Anguish and see how the team does. Anguish 2 is definitely off the table. Team needs to be higher level for that. Let's remake on just regular ultimate for the first one. It's not a big difference in drop rate either way. Yeah, I'm going to push myself to 759. I like about 1,000 for uh, Anguish 2. Anguish 1 is more like 600, 700. But if the team doesn't have a uh, HP, that's a different story. Is there any character you want to bring in, Hellcleave, for uh, what we have here? We're going to go uh, no Anguish at first. Get a Vito one on this character and triple heavenlies. Good enough. Also, yeah. See, I could potentially loan out. Like when I go to switch to green ID, I don't need the heavenly HP, so I can loan two. So team could easily get above seven hundred. It's not a big deal. Uh, I do need these though. Probably... Oh, I don't think I put the Kavoe Merge away. That was a mistake. I'll have to go get that in a moment. I guess I could leave him with Dressplate on for now. It's slightly better than normal frame. For what it is. I guess three seals is better than nothing. Yeah, because I could very easily put myself at a health total that gets me out of the jam. Like, 759 is really nothing. But for our other friends, I'll have to switch characters, which when we go to green ID, I'll do. Yeah, then I'll, I'll remake as I think, uh, for Hellcleave's games, I'll bring in a Fomar that's 190. So he definitely does not need heavenly HPs. But I figure for the first one, we'll do a pink ID. Also, I just realized I didn't grab the cookie. Let me go grab that. Yeah, let's grab... We'll say we'll do at least six runs. I'll leave 15 in the bank. We'll do one pink ID for the team, and I'll do five specifically towards Hellcleave. Cleave. 
There we go. Make sure we buff the team. And just a couple of nice, easy initial waves will get the team a chance to buff. Ooh, that damage. Hmm. I lost track of how many were specifically for you, but I feel like we had you in a lot. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Oh, like, it's mostly covered. I'm going to do another five just for safety. Yeah. No, no, no. I know I know what our trade was. How many I put towards you specifically? I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought a couple we did for you uh, last time with, with the striker. That's fine then. I can just use up the remainder. Then the last 15 are just yours then. Oops, I got knocked over. Whatever Hulk leave once then. Then we'll say rip my Halloween cookies. That's fair. Because I, I did host a lot of games. I don't think I declared them for your use specifically. I guess that's fair. Because I, I know I hosted green and pink when we did the cookie runs. Pink was more for me, though. Use a dive fluid there. Level finally. Nice. I'm going to need that defense. Yeah, I guess we just go back to cookie runs. Who cares? That wants XP. Here's your XP. Nice level. Oh, that reminds me, Chad. If you see anybody selling cookies... I will, I will cover some of the cookies. Just let me know the amount. I think I could cover at least... We'll say... We'll say 10 cookies. I'm willing to put that back to the chat. I need to burn PDs. I have nothing better to do. While it's the event, I'm willing to do it. When it's not the event, I don't think I want to buy them. Preferably, I'm going to aim for probably five more on my own. Welcome, Promethean. Oh, speaking of which... We are burning some cookies. Actually, yeah, that actually doesn't matter then. Don't disregard that chat. I'll, I'll do my own purchases for cookies separately. Level time. Hopefully, you're doing well, Promethean. Get some debuffs. Oh, I don't have Zalora. Oops. Um, we'll get that later. We have like an hour 16 minute level to 80. Yeah, I've been doing a mix of things. We, we were doing a mix, uh, a mix of uh, massive attacks and now cookies. Yeah, I was I saw in general a little while ago somebody was selling. I don't mind picking up a few more. As you saw, it took like about 15 cookies at 1 to 80. That was pretty fast. That was pretty fast. Yeah, so if you need me to help leave, I'll switch up to uh, Green ID Fomar. Start burning your cookies. Then we'll get Promethean's cookies at some point, and also get Promethean in on some of the cookie runs at some point. Assuming you're sticking around for a bit, Promethean. Any plans for the day, Promethean? I think you've already spent time with family. Goodbye, Garda Bulu. You're so done. You're getting grants. GG. Cannot wait until this character levels a little more. It's gonna feel so good. Once I get to like 100, that'll be like the sweet spot. I don't need the heavenly HP. And then I can just get raw defense from levels. Just cook it and watch the football. Sounds like a good time. Nice level. Yo, 
go. Already 6 696. Not too bad. My chat's back. I got cookies for you guys. Yeah, we're, we're figuring XP week is just time to level. So we did get several characters to 80. So I think mission accomplished for today. We're, this is just extra credit now. <laughs> now we're helping said characters potentially get higher in levels. We're even helping help Cleave out. Big supporter of the stream. Gonna help Promethean out as well at some point. Also big supporter of the stream. Oops, that did bad moral. My bad, chat. I saw it slowly tick down. Now we're good. Let's get it tougher and tougher and tougher and tougher. So, so far, it's been about three levels from a fresh level 80 character star. I can't revive, I've noticed. I have no moons. Let me go pick up a Moon Atomizer next time. Distant Nightmare says, Phone Newman, my favorite. Welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. We had a very fast rush to 80. So, uh, what was it? Hour 16 in game time. So, we we're just enjoying some cookies. How far am I in, like, doing this cookie run? We're probably, like, a couple minutes from finishing. It's not a very long quest. We're, like, five or six waves away. We're already in the Goron Detonator phase. When you see double Goron Detonator, it's probably two minutes. That's your two, two minutes until we complete it. Although, I'm getting knocked down a lot. I need to chat to deal with these. Get them off of me. Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be too long. We we have like one big wave into double Goron into double or quintuple Goron into whatever. But these minor waves are pretty fast at least. So Assistant Nightmare, are are you playing on Affinia? Are you playing General PSO? Tell us your story. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna guess probably, probably about five minutes at the rate we're clearing. We got a little time before the Grand Detonators in the middle. Oh, I got crit. That is unfortunate. The only person I didn't debuff. That sucks. Thank you, chat. Reapplying buffs to the team. Yeah, this is a character chat made today, and we're 84. <laughs> life, life is fair when you have cookies. Yeah, that's promising. We're on one of the final Gardevoirs before the big Goron Detonator wave. Just need to demon it. There we go. That'll save some time. Yeah, hopefully we don't get hung up on the wave, on the Mercer wave here. Hopefully this is just smooth all the way through. We could lose a lot of time here if we get hit. I think I'm gonna get hit. I gotta move. I gotta move. There we go. I lost a little bit of time, but that could have been much worse. If I got knocked down, it would have been like literally a thousand plus damage delayed. Been super bad. How many cookies does everyone else have? I'm gonna burn out potentially if I don't get new, because I owe Hulk Cleave a lot of runs. Um, I'm technically on my 15. I went from 30-something down to 15 today. Nice level. Oh, Cleave, I think, has 7 or 8. Parameter says 6. We, we have some for people doing their respective runs. Oh, why did that not... Why did that not gel in? Right, I'm unequipping my fire staff. I actually need fast cast, I think. Oh no. Okay, I gotta sum up. <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting bullied hard by Goron Detonator, and I can't do anything while that's happening. 
He needs to die immediately so I could go back to spellcasting. Thank you, team. So level 85 and rising. Yeah, this character feel good once I get, as I said before, closer to 100. Swap around my units a little bit. That is not the right spell. My bad. Finger slip. I hit control to do uh, Rebarda and then went, oops. I held control, but not the controller swap. That is two mistakes this month. Okay. We'll live through it. I don't need the mag blast anyway. I won't live through that though. That slap after the freeze was very rude. Got revive. Long Goron Detonators. We're very close. We're very close to the Goron Detonator wave. I think we're maybe th three minutes? A little less than three minutes? A little less than three, I think. We got, I think, two waves before the double Goron Detonator. Although them hitting me full screen is getting kind of annoying. Please stop knocking me down. It adds to the timer every time I'm not spellcasting. There we go. Nice level. Room is up. Okay. I'll be there soon. Just got a couple of simple waves into Goron Detonator, I think. Fortunately, though, I should be just be able to Bowie stack this without an issue. Rebuff the team. Where's Hellcleave? There's how clear. Fuck. Fuck. Here we go. An ultimate wave. It crit immediately. Seriously? Come on. I, I tried to gel in. There's nothing I could do, I think, if they target me. My defense is just too low, sadly. I have the right HP, but wrong defense. Taking over 800 in a slap means that uh, I need a better armor for next time. So if I use this character again, I'm going to give them an ultimate frame just to get another 150 or so defense. Which is fine. It's not a big change, but it will make a difference. Let's go back to this. Demon should take care of this. And overall, still got about six levels in the run. Right now at above 700 HP. Putting him a little out of the danger zone. But yeah, I think just my base defense is just way too low, sadly. I need like 100 more, minimum. And collect some items. I'm going to join the Promethean game. And then if Hellcleave wants to declare whatever Hellcleave wants to declare, that's what we'll run. Did I ever learn Ryuker with this character? I don't think I did, right? No, I didn't. Interesting. I'll have to get one of those. It's not that I don't have them. I just think I didn't bother grabbing it. Oh well. So yeah, this character will be, be left as is. I'm going to put all my cookies back since I'm going to switch IDs anyway. I'm sure I'm not holding any. Yeah, let's put these back since I don't think I'm going to bring pink ID into the next game. So, yeah. Green is fine. Okay. So I'll bring in my Fomar, who's super high level. Put these away. Leave the three seals on them, that's okay. They can keep everything else they earned. And let's go... Switch into that character, get the cookies. Ethan's game password is Keshi. Okay.
There we go. I'm gonna run towards Promethean. Would I like to trade? Okay. I'm gonna verify. Firm. Firm. Thank you for 23. Thank you very much, Promethean. Let's just lobby, actually. And let's make a game for Hellcleave. The same people as before, if you'd like to hop in, we'll continue the runs. I'm gonna put them away so that I have... But we'll do the... Let's try an Anguish one, but I'm gonna give Heavenly HP to the other players. I think that'll work. Like, this character is not gonna die. The other character is mining a little HP boost. So I'm gonna drop three Heavenly HP for the team to wear, so you don't get one shot as easily. Yeah, I'm gonna put away... Say seven or eight, yeah, eight. So that way I can keep track of what I'm using for Hulk Leaf. Just leave it on this character. Yeah, let's get some Heavenly HP so the team can survive. Hopefully be good for you, and then I need to give one to the hunter. Yeah, that should be good. 843 is not too bad. Don't just fair chat, I have over 70. Yeah, Promethean has us there. Did you need another one in Parameter? I'll leave one more Heavenly HP. I'm not sure who needs it. Otherwise, we'll just keep power leveling. I'll hold on to it for now. You're good? Okay. So, sword. A43 is pretty solid. Make sure of my moons. I think we're good to go. So we'll start on Anguish 1 just for XP. We'll move it up, I think, once the team gets closer to 100 to Anguish 2. Again, lots of extra XP. I'm going to be focusing on debuffs. If team wants to paralyze, that's fine. I'm bringing in Magical Beast for more damage. I don't think I want V801 with this. I could have brought an Adept. Probably put a V101 in, on him if I, or a V801 if I want to Grants faster, maybe. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, hopefully you'll get a few extra levels, which will result in more HP and defense anyway. Why, hello there, Gertabulu. Would you like to attack Focus Me today? I'm okay with this. I'm gonna say demons, please. Rock chance, please. There we go. It was a little stubborn. We got there in the end. Your humor, that's true. Good luck proccing it, I guess. I'm more talking about the 30% than your accuracy. If your accuracy is not good, then that's that's a separate story. Hopefully it's near max. Cause I, I know in anguish specifically it's nerfed. Pretty good accuracy. Yeah, as long as they're debuffed, their damage isn't too bad. But I think I'll go pick up a V801 next time to make it a little smoother. Not interested. 87, congratulations. 
yeah, I think Anguish One will, will sit out for a little bit. So it'll just get easier and easier. Better than just doing Vanilla Cookie. Or the raw XP per cookie. Hmm. Do I want to get my Kavoe merge? I think I do. I think I do. Alright. After this one, I'm going to switch briefly back to Blue ID. I want to make sure I have my merge and also get an adapt, I think, from him. And we're good to go. I'm just thinking about for if we're going to be doing this for like seven runs. I should probably pump the damage over Red Ring. Red Ring's just making sure I don't die to like random hits, but I don't need it if we're not doing Anguish 2. So I'd rather do this. Yeah, there we go. The Magical Piece is good damage, but it's only half of the equation. Leveled up. Just more and more damage, more and more accuracy, slightly more stats for defense. Goodbye, Marissa's. twice and die. Fine. Keep ups. Keep... Ooh, got knocked down. That's fine. Grants the zoo. Goodbye, zoo. Try to debuff as much as I can, but Goron Detonator sometimes teleports before I can land the debuff, which is really annoying. Double Marissa Goron Detonator all hitting me at once. That is... that's a combo. I think I had Red Ring on there. I think I would have died. <laughs> a lot of set damage mixed with melee. Let's rebuff the team. Debuff the enemy. Magical piece for faster casts. I just need to stun luck the Goron detonators. Until the team is ready to deal with them. <laughs> just suddenly go to Chrono Trigger. Nice level. Sounds like Chrono Trigger. Flame Garment, nice. Ooh, that could have been so bad. I got triple froze by Marissa there. Thought for sure I was gonna die. Then they got free shrapped. Saved by chat. Nice level up. And that Vieto one. Then I can use the staff a little more efficiently. More stacks out there. It 
I don't technically need to get an adept. Yeah, let's just skip it. Let's just get a beta one. I technically remove Smart Link in the run. I don't plan on sniping anything. I could bring in Bringers as a backup. Had it on him for a while, but it's okay. Keep up the enemy so Chat can do more damage. Three minutes left on buffs. Looking okay there. Poor Yowies. The one that was not debuffed hit me. Nice level 90. Well, that reminds me, uh, Bishamu. Uh, what units were you using aside from the Heavenly HP that you were just given? You can mention after the, the run itself. I want you to die typing or something weird. Go ahead and grants these. Goodbye, Gertabulu. One more grants should do it. Yeah, the more accuracy we can add on the... I actually forget what Humar's max accuracy is. I'll be real with you. I don't remember. It's not a number that even comes to mind. It's not like 180 with, like, faux Newman. Using two H arms. Ah, oh, makes sense. Nice level. Elk Weave, I think, went up one level. I think Elk Weave was 155 at the beginning of this. Slowly but surely, going towards that max ATP. Ooh! See that damage? Heavenly HP made a difference there. <laughs> it's like, oops. Reva. The rapies before they flee. Stop slapping me. Stopping me from healing and buffing. Thank you. Rude. Come on, Power Grons. Oh, I heard the rare drop. Oh, it's not the. I mean, it's good, but it's not. Not having the striker good. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> they died at the same time. I was like, darn. Oh well. Got some more chances. I think in a couple runs, team will start to iron out a little, because team overall should probably be going up around 30 ATP a quest, just from raw levels. On top of just having slightly better accuracy and stats, if not already capped. Even as a hunter, it skills pretty quickly. Ninety-seven. speaking of which... And then slowly as they start approaching 100, you might be able to get away with removing a uh, Heavenly HP. And so I think 873 is probably a bit high. We're not pushing the difficulty further. But in a few levels, of course. Actually, yeah, you know what? After this, I'm definitely subbing in the add-ups. I think I need the add-ups. 
Nice level O, 92. More Grant should kill, dead. We'll do, we'll do a little magical journey and look up something right after this. <laughs> I only need 2.9 mil to level, don't worry about me, Tad. I'm not leveling anytime soon. Our max ATA is 200. Okay. Is 193 the Hue cast or something? No Hue cast is lower. I'm trying to remember their exact total. Like, I know they're above Fonu Min. They're above Fonu Roll. But still low. 191. So yeah, just a couple more of these. The run will smooth out. Yang says my units are bad. Hmm. I would say if you want to drop one heavenly HP, you might be able to sub in some damage. I'm not sure if you have like, do you have like a god ability or anything? Might be enough, like a very minor amount of defense and everything else. Ooh. No, we gotta fix that. Listen, we were talking about this before. These these units need to go to a good home. Enjoy the god ability. Give me back one of the heavenly HPs. You could keep the god ability forever. It's just better in terms of what you have. <laughs> then I'm gonna switch characters briefly. Yeah, it's just a, it's a little everything. It's a little little bit of accuracy, a little bit of luck. Defense, ATP, just overall more survivability. Oops, forgot to end the quest for money. Always forget to talk to this guy one day. Oh, that reminds me. Does that also mean you don't have a heavenly battle? Do you need one of those? That also helps with DPS. I got one spare heavenly battle if you need it. Okay. Why don't I give you heavenly battle then? Should be a massive DPS increase for you. So I'm going to just very briefly swap into another character. Sorry about that, John. I, I changed my mind with how much TP that costs. I'm like, yeah, I got to switch. And then I'll, I'll bring in, make a game in like one minute. So you have a small break if you need to step away, get a drink, stretch. Got some time. game to transfer some units. I need to see where my other heavenly battles are. I feel like other characters have them. I know I gave out a lot, but I also picked up a ton. Yeah, no worries. Let me know if you need some basic stuff. I always forget to ask. I feel bad. Like, I have it. Like, tr like trust me, I have it. <laughs> Just, like, did you need... Let me think. Throw this stuff away. I wasn't even paying attention. You were the raw moral, right? Like, did you need things like a frozen shooter? Yeah, 
just the was was in there. Don't need that. Put both of these in there for now. Hmm. The Vice and M60, those are pretty solid ones. Did the did the Vice have hit? Schmark? Only the M60 does, 30%. Yeah, we'll have to get you some, uh... We'll have to get you some basic items. I think Hellcleave has some. I know I have a couple spares here and there. But since I'm swapping into the character, we'll just get you some extra defense, or extra ATP. Okay, let's make the game. No problem. We'll do Ziggy King. Let's leave it at the same difficulty. This time with the team a little stronger previous run. Plus, now adding units to Bishmu for extra damage and survivability. Any random techniques in here that would be useful? I have a spare heavenly power. It's not a bad one to give away at some point. Oh, here, here's my four slots frames. I was looking for those. Perfect. Oh, Bishop, by the way, are you using any four slot eye armor stuff? Do you need those? Because that does make a difference with survivability. Pull those out. Seeing if this character had any random things they shouldn't have. About average in here. Oh, it's just one of the kunai. Oh, I saw Skyly on this character. Dang, I need to get rid of these. Okay, you just picked one up. Perfect, perfect. Right, let's help you out just a little bit before we return to the runs. Um. Take these out for me. I have a super good shield offhand I want to get rid of. Let's do... I have a random slicer. Those are always fun. Got a random frozen shooter. Random spread needle. So keep a spread needle with hit. That should get good coverage. It's not super useful in this particular run, but that should cover you for most of your damage. Yeah, take one of the discus just because. You have Ranger Ball? That's a good sign. Yeah, keep these. Generically useful. What I'm going to do, I'm going to swap my personal units around a little bit. I don't need Smart Link. I can Adept. I don't need Centurion. I think I could just double Adept the 801 and still be its max stats. Indeed. Okay. I think I'm good. Now, now I'm not burning through, like, all my Pride Fluids or whatever and I'm in panic mode. But yeah, that should be basic starting stuff. That should get you pretty far if you're doing solo runs. Spread Needle. Good panic one. I recommend picking up a charge arm at some point. I think I had one in the bank, maybe. But between Frozen Shooter or Spread Needle, that should carry you through most things and uh, see where it goes from there. Disca is more useful if you have ult characters, but it's not bad if you're just looking for fast clear. I figured why not. And Slicer is un ridiculous on Romarl. Anyway, if you know the SN glitch, that saves a lot of time as Romarl. It's a pretty good demon. There we go. Yeah, Heavenly Battle should just feel really good now. Especially with Spread Needle, because you can normal, normal, normal stun lock. Oh, you watch a bunch of video for advice? 
Hopefully it ends up being very useful for single player. Oops. I think we need you to be in the quest. i try not to Gafoe quite yet. There we go. Now I'll Gafoe. There we go. Now your journey of leveling your first character into finding stuff on your own is going to be not as brutal. Because that jump from 80... Trying to get from 80 to 100 without having people there is really rough. Especially since a lot of your good items as Ranger are more like ruins-ish in difficulty. Which is kind of rough on the first character. Except for Frozen Shooter. Frozen Shooter is just easy pick up in Forest. Uh, but, you know, we, we pick up all sorts of not max stat Frozen Shooter. Might as well, let's just put it out there. And again, any extra ATP you could do with your hits. I forget it. I, I'm totally blanked out what I gave you. Did I give you a vice? You mentioned it, and I'm like, wait. I know I gave you Slicer, Frozen, Spread Needle. What was the fourth weapon? Might have been a vice. Rip these enemies, though. Oh, no, no, I gave Disca. Maybe I didn't get the vice. I'll check. Yeah, I was going to say. I do have a vice with hit, but I don't I don't care. It has like 20 or 30 hit. Not like not like super top of the line, but it's better than zeroed. Your vice has oh your vice has 30? I thought your M and K whatever has uh 30. My bad. If you've got 30 already on your vice, that's fine. Already it feels like we're clearing a lot quicker. I think between the levels and the gear upgrade, life is nice. Nice level up. <laughs> See that Excalibur being, being flung around with the Humar? Whatever works, works. You know what I forgot to get? The Poe merge, but that's okay. Vito 1 I think will make up for the damage. I think my damage is fine. More just that speed and lack of... And not needing to burn through like five tri-fluids per run is probably worth it. Yeah, we'll do several of these runs, I think. But as soon as it's dinner time, I'm pausing. I might not stream afterwards, because again, we had a we had a long session today. Th this is the bonus stream. <laughs> I'll be like, it started at 9.30, it's 4.30. Quite a long time, almost literally seven hours on the dot as we speak. So we'll go further. We're going to go at least another two. That's a lot of potential cookie runs in the meantime. That's just little bits of ATP, little bits of accuracy. Nice level. Speaking of accuracy and ATP, nice level up. That demon just getting slightly easier and easier to land accuracy wise, but that 30% nerf. I think is I think definitely needed to happen, but yeah, we're already seeing some consistency from levels. I'm seeing it proc much more often. Even just 2% honestly makes a big difference. Due to the way uh, the triple hit works. Yeah, it should feel way better now. That spread needle, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> well, I got him. <laughs> They're not going to do anything to you. Like, tell him to go away. Zyle, Miro, first time chatter saying hello. Yo, yo, yo. Hopefully you're doing well. We are enjoying some uh, cookie runs. And we are helping a mix of veteran players and new players alike. Crazy. Almost level 100. What a way the character has grown. I'm just, just looking at the XP per second alone, just from the progress of how much levels made a difference. Went from around 380 to 480 XP a second. Like, what a difference the gear made already and the levels. 
Hopefully he's leveling again. Congratulations, hopefully. Yeah, this wave definitely takes forever. I'm trying to stun lock for the team while they kill the Gurdabulu. Need to grind right now, just started playing. Oh, like, like literally fresh character. Hopefully you've been enjoying PSO. Level 29, nice, nice. Ooh, Gracie is a nice pickup. Yeah, we're doing several rushes, 1 to 80. We might return to that for the end of the stream. I'm not sure. Right now, we're in the cookie run portion. Oops, let me buff team before things get out of hand. Debuff first. Debuff. Rebuff. Nice. Yeah, uh, this week is a great week for people looking to hop into the game because it is 150... No, excuse me. It's 200% XP instead of 150%. Uh, since it's doubling the weekly bonuses for people that have uh, bonuses turned on. Because technically you can turn them off with purest mode. I don't super recommend it. Uh, but it's there for people that want to get more classic experience. Congrats on the level up. And we've been helping new players, as I said before, with ult. Some people just reached 80, even in the current party, for the first time. We have characters of varying levels. Chat helped me reach 80 not that long ago. So potentially, if you're around Dial, in probably about an hour and a half or so, I might look to see if there's people that need that last minute boost before we conclude the stream. But we did a lot of that the first three hours of the stream, maybe four. The rest has been a mix. Congrats on hitting level 100. XP right now is crazy good. Ooh, missed the deep up on somebody. Let me uh fix that. Yeah, I don't see I don't see chat getting one shot for the most part. It looks like around 700 with good defense is good enough. So potentially we'll start removing those heavenly HPs as needed just for more raw stats. Well, let me uh Zalore. If we live slightly out of range, I'll let you know. Yeah, Gurdy Blue requires kind of like if you if you know the SN glitch, Slice Earth Fanatic is your best friend. Have you practiced that before, Bishamu? Even even with like not max accuracy, it's one of the most broken things you could do to Gurdy Blue. <laughs> It does so much potential damage. Oh, okay. So for those not aware of what the SN glitch is, there's a trick you can do with slicers. If you stand at a moderate distance away from the enemy and you throw a special attack, before the special attack hits the enemy, use a normal. That's the glitch. The glitch essentially will then take your first attack, which is a special, but since the game only really stores accuracy for one move at a time, it will take the accuracy of the second normal attack and apply it to the special attack that hasn't landed yet. So you have a hyper accurate second attack level accuracy normal, but it applies the special of the weapon being used. Now, not every weapon can take advantage of this. Uh, slicers are probably the most notorious for it, uh, but it will allow you to absolutely delete enemies. Gurdabulus can get hit three times, Slice or Fanatic hits three times. You have three chances of instantly doing 75% of its health. Potentially all of them could proc on the target and then they die. <laughs> like that's it. It's insanely powerful. So don't think you need like hyper accuracy for it to land. If you have the add-on reader, you can see like right now my accuracy is 163, which is checking here is not a really high number. So I would have about a 147% chance of landing that special if I were to do that trick. So keep it keep it in mind, I'm a 163 Fomar, I can land it. It's very useful. It takes a little bit of practice to get the distance down. Being too close, like if they collide with the special before the normal comes out, will be unfortunate. But yeah, mastering that I think is a really great thing to do. It improves your gameplay tenfold. So if you feel like you're not doing damage, honestly, just spam Slicer. We're in Anguish where it's a little less consistent, 
So it's going to whiff more than it should because of uh, the way the demon proc percent is nerfed. But yeah, just special normal is just so powerful. Like there, I think it triggered and killed the enemy. Yeah, like see how the zoo just lost like 3k hell? It's so unfair. <laughs> it doesn't even have to have percent accuracy. I mean, it's nice if it does, but man, if you can land it, it's just like, oh. And it gets, as I said before, keep in mind, it's gonna it's gonna fail about twice as often as it would in non-anguish games. And if you're playing single player, I think as long as you have like 170 accuracy, which is not, not that high, especially when playing as a ranger, I mean, it's high for a force. Uh, well, let's, let's say 150. I think even if you're at 150, you're still going to land that combo and kill them. So it's just insanely good to practice. And you will be generally satisfied with the results. Gertubulu is a little stubborn, though. Oh, I think Demon's rocked. That's going to save some time. Get that guy out of here. Yeah, Gertubulu is a little weird to aim at sometimes. He wiggles his little hurt boxes around. I think that went pretty well. Yeah, if you consider we went from like three, 380 to 460 by the end, that was pretty good. Gertubulu is always going to be a bit of a roadblock. The Gracia found. Do I need to go back and shop? No, I do not. I see enough Trifluids here. Uh, might need a moon back, I think. I'm just picking up all the money because I purposely capped my uh, inventory space. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I'll make another game, so hopefully it's not waiting there. Actually, before I do that, do I have all the grinders in my inventory or no? I don't think I do, right? I want to pick up as many of those as possible because I will be needing them in the near future. Presumably, I'm going to end up with... There we go, I think I picked them all up. So I think I'm going to be ending with almost... Actually, uh, this might still be faster. Uh, more than one challenge weapon. Any good dro drop sets, Calvisham? Uh, we're just leveling people today, Calvisham. I mean, technically, I got like a 45 hit Jaya, which is really good, but our we only just started doing the item portion of the runs. Yeah, let's go hand this in. Chat can restock if they need it, but already the levels are accruing. I'm already seeing 806 health. 757. I think as I said before, around 710, 720. It's probably fine. I, then I'd like more like a thousand for uh, anguish too. There we go. Game is up. What is the forecast for today? Humans, females, oof. It's hard to feed bag with all the enemies. Yeah, job. Oh, that were... Fishamu, I totally forgot. Duh. I should be loaning you a power mag. Let's loan you something. Let's let's get you pumped up. Duh. Streamer, wake up. Let's get you something to start hitting for big damage. You just said it was a fresh character. Did not process to me until just now for some reason. Like, wait a minute. Yeah, let's give you... Uh, do I have anything other than Siffy Tree? Kind of annoying. Five, one, twelve, forty-five. It's actually not bad. Hmm. I don't know where my spare power mag is. I'm looking at this. I don't see it. I should have one power mag in here. It's, I mean, technically striker unit, but it's like, uh. Uh, what, what, what is the mag that you're using? I wasn't paying attention. Was it one that gives invincibility? If it's like Nidra or something, then you could just keep using it. Otherwise, I think of one that's like more ATP. Ooh, it's Madu? Oh no, why is it Madu? Oh no. Ooh, 
Ooh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you able... Oh, I don't think you could change it. That's really unfortunate. What are you looking to turn it into from Madu? I'm not sure. I'll let you keep it because that is invincibility. I... I it, it, it technically is invincibility. I'll, I'll leave it there. The other one's just heal. I'll have to keep in mind to move a power mag around later. I wonder who's using my spare power mag. Because I have, like, the striker unit. But there should be one that's just, like, Nidra 150-something. Honestly, for now, it's just stats? Okay. Then I'll, I'll loan you one to use, then. If you don't care about it. Because that one is going to give you about roughly the same accuracy, just more power. But yeah, there's definitely much better things to feed it. So definitely check out the mag guide later. We're going to give you a... Inventory full, yeah. We're going to give you a power mag briefly. Goodbye, skate dome. Oh, where'd you go? back yeah this one's just raw stats it'll heal you randomly it's better than nothing yeah that's the power version of the striker unit which is kind of amusing there we go i mean that's basically like 60 atp right there so that's a pretty big power buff Let's see, how many cookies down are we? Three, okay. I'll leave the 12 that are in his inventory there so that way I can keep track of what Hulk leave needs. Yeah, we picked up a lot of Rappy Beaks to make uh, mine mags. They're, they're one of the easiest mags to make because you can just sub into them really quickly. The power mags are a little more finicky because they require more swapping back and forth. Um, yeah, striker unit's annoying to get. Hopefully you got a heaven striker code or something if you want to get a Ramaral Pew Pew laser mag. Otherwise, uh, Nidra is probably your best bet. Or Talesius. That requires uh, episode four, which is not necessarily easy to do for a first character. Hopefully you have 157, 102 now from the Ranger, nice. Umar slowly gaining that ATP and ATA. You donated a striker unit? Oh, nice, nice. pumped up the volume on the music. That's a little lower than the other videos we we're listening to. Let's lure you and then do this and then team will basically kill it for me. Thank you team. So yeah, the runs will just get smoother and smoother as we just get more and more levels. All we need. Yeah, that feeling when you can finally get rid of all the heavenly HPs and swap them with heavenly powers or even just like Centurion or God abilities definitely results in a smoother gameplay. The rest from that point onward is just materials. So if you've been either sticking to the character min-max plan or if you're planning to just take oops all power, that's also valid. Because you do end up with a lot of materials as you play the game. If you're not looking to make multiple characters, like more than, like, let's say even just make more than two, it's pretty easy to save up for a force that doesn't use basically anything that the ranger or a hunter would need. A Gazan level 29. I should probably pick that up. Yeah, see, so we're briefly touching 500 XP, so I can already see it's going smoother.
Oh, as a reminder, the um, satellite lizards require a melee weapon. And if you're not sure, you could just, I guess, try to rebar to them or something, because otherwise they'll just be immune to projectiles. If you're wondering why they don't damage or get damaged. For me, I don't care. Spells don't care about their little gimmick. 28 next to a level 29 technique. That's so sad. It already got outclassed. Oh, I saw that demon hit. GG. <laughs> that was that was a lot of time save right there. Good job, team, on the demons. Yeah, Slicer Fanatic will end up being one of your MVP items for basically ever. Honestly. <laughs> Like, you'll, you'll potentially get, like, demon handguns or, like, demon laser, and that's fair, but it's just... The ability to SN glitch that means you could just do the cheesiest nonsense on enemies. One and only has found red rank. Nice. Congratulations on 99. Hmm, we don't have strikers yet for anybody. Hopefully we see that soon. That would definitely be a nice handout item, potentially to our budding ranger. Oh, the demons. Oh, chat hitting the demons. It's over, GG. Goodbye. Yeah, that already went way faster than before. More Gracias. I like those on, like, Hugh Cast and Hugh Casseals. I don't use them so much on the other characters, sadly, because Ranger Walt is too powerful. Okay, buff time is gonna wear off soon. Let me start reapplying. Where's Helcle? There's Helcle. One buff out. There we go. Go back in the middle, back to Kafoe spam. Photon draw. Can't pick up. Hmm. I get rid of. That up. I, have to pick, I have to drop something for it. I don't really want to lose all my escape dolls though. Well, I've got three left. I guess that's fine. Oh, I didn't have enough fluid. I was like, why am I not healing as I'm moving? <laughs> that confused me for a minute. Poor, poor enemies. 104, 99, 157. I'm still a long way from leveling. I, I don't even think if we finish all the cookie quests, I'll level. I mean, well, maybe. Actually, I take that back. If I do 10 more, I'll level. <laughs> but it's going to take a while. Congrats on 100. Yeah, now that accuracy mixed with the ATP is going to feel real good. Ooh, the demon proc. Oh, the double demon proc. Ooh, team deleted that enemy. Good, that saves like 20 plus seconds. Yeah, I think at this point I should just full-time use Slicer Fanatic. I use it a lot on uh, Ramar. But now that I've been practicing the glitch with like Bomaro this year, I'm like, I really should just be doing it on every character. It almost doesn't even matter what the stats are on it when you're just doing the glitch. Unfortunately, I have a few spare slicers. One's on the Ramar permanently, one's on the Fomarl, but 
I think next time I play my Ron Marl, I might just spam it full time. I sometimes swapped into it. Like when I did some tower runs, I would do it. Also, I'm getting bullied. So get them off me. Jerks. We're good. That's not chilling. There we go. Ooh, Hell Cleave found a present. There we go. Come on, Heaven Striker. Yeah, that is the drop of the run. Technically, the zoos also drop B101. If they happen, oh, both on crystal. If they happen to drop for you and you're using Heavenly Battle, just remember they don't stack. So that's just free extra stats for you. Pretty good at unit. And a reminder, Chad, if there are ever any units that you just really don't want and don't want to trade, please let me know. I will pick them up. I try to give them out to other players. Welcome back, Andreas. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I think we're fine for a little bit. I might ask people to swap out and let you back in. I think we'll do at least a couple more runs with the current team, though. Ooh, 101 and 105. Nice, nice. Hopefully you're doing well. We're going for a Heaven Striker. Yeah, 105, 781 health looks like a really good time for solo play after this. Far should be super easy. Especially with Heavenly Battle Spread Needle. That alone basically shuts down the entire area. Yeah, Manu, if I remember correctly, is not really easy to level. But more importantly, it doesn't have uh, good triggers. So definitely if you're able to invest some time in a power mag. Because some, some, most, not all, but some require specific mag forms. You'll have to let me know what you're looking to turn the Manu into. I was kind of curious. Good bodied. See the demon hitting, but it's not. There we go. The demon attack itself is landing. It's just not proccing. There we go. Almost done. Ooh. Goodbye. <laughs> Team went in on that one. But yeah, hopefully that Slicer Fanatic ends up being tons of fun for you. Even though the stats are whatever. Yeah, maybe I will play some orange ID a bit more underground. Just for Sincesta. Slicer Fanatic alternatives. Some of Moon Atomizer's back. I want to pick up that material. Why am I capped? Oh, I didn't put away the other units. That now makes sense why I'm capped. I'm like, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, something's not right. I should be able to just hold that. And I was not able to. Now I can pick up all the units that I come across and materials. Mind evade. I'll preemptively take one of each unit just so I can pick them up. And we'll proceed. Power, one mind, one HP, luck, and defense. That way, if I do this, I should be able to pick up any material I come across. Photon drops of photo crystals are there. Got room for the cookies. I could drop escape doll if I need to. Put away the Gazond. I have one basically floating space to always pick up a new item. Okay. Let's keep going. We'll do a few more with the current group, but if there's other people looking to hop into the game, so so far we have Adrius looking to come back in. Oh, 50 hit Vulcan, no special. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I don't know if somebody dropped that or if that dropped for me. 
Oh, that's so sad. I just saw it. Oh, come on. Game, that could have been a 60 hit charge. <laughs> what a wasted Vulcan. I'm so sad. It could have been so good, chat. All I needed was special. That would have been like the first 60 hit charge Vulcan I've ever had. Or Berserk even would have been okay. I mean, I definitely would have gone back for it if it was even remotely salvageable, but that's so sad. How do I get different color dots on the on the map? That is a perfect question. I recommend you check out our PSO guide, the last video on the playlist going through the uh, add-ons about midway into the video, which I will eventually go back in timestamp. Just unfortunately, it's been all PSO and free time. Uh, shows you what file you need to update and what codes can be inserted. So if you want to customize the colors or if you want to add new items by looking at the wiki, uh, the video will teach you. But essentially, you can take a look at the YouTube description to update your map item text if you just want to literally copy what I have. But I recommend it. It's a very easy change. It's a quality of life to point out things like trifluids, dimates, moon atomizers, star atomizers, soul atomizers. Basically everything you would ever want. <clears throat> anyway, let's rebuff the team. Get some buffs here. Heal the team. Heal the team. Yeah, it should be the very last video, because that was the... I did it right before the... Uh, event started because I knew as soon as that happened I would have like no time at all to update videos it would purely be playing the event for the event so sorry for people looking for more updates they will basically not happen until the event is over I managed to barely do that one I think the next step on the list would be just going over my joy to key for people looking to copy it um I might do one on steam stuff but I honestly don't like having steam open when I play because otherwise people message me on my steam which is Normally not an issue, but because this is not a Steam game, it could be kind of annoying when people see that I'm not playing and ask if I want to play. I'm like, no, I'm playing PSO. Hold on, drop, nice. Lots of damage to Marissa here. Yeah, I just I just find it quicker just to turn it off. When I'm ready, I put it back on. <laughs> just like if I'm offline, I'm like I don't even want people messaging me. I just nah. I don't need to hear the the pop-up sounds. The team is 102 and 106. Quite a far cry from where they were at the beginning of the stream. Go ahead and take that defense material. Yeah, what I would recommend, as I said before, uh, I think not on this stream, but a previous stream, whenever I'm doing a lot of back-to-back -back grinds, what I would recommend to make sure that you never miss anything, put one of each material, Photon Drop, Photon Crystal. Thank you, Penguin, for the cheer. Hopefully you're doing well. So you put those in your inventory, along with always keeping at least one of your recovery items. So as you play, even if you're capped, quote-unquote, on items, you can always pick those up. Penguin says, I'm good. How, how am I doing? Uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> but I'll keep playing for now. I'm going to give Hell Cleave a lot of runs in today. Help the team level since we have a decent uh, showing today for people interested in playing. Like, I technically had a meal at like two in the morning, I guess technically, but I haven't had food since then. So we're eventually gonna take a break for dinner and then I'll take my evening to myself, I think. Nice level up. 
What have you been up to, Penguin? Any new games you've been eyeing for crowd control? Any updates on any of the weird jank we saw with some of the commands? Like the... What was it? The hover boots? Rendering as iron boots? out of here, random enemies. So many kills. Yeah, I think we'll do a couple more with the current team. And then we'll switch over to see if so far Radrius is looking for interest, looking to jump in. Probably do at least, let's see, what number would that cookie be? Yeah, we'll say two cookies from now. We'll, we'll look for the tag swap. I just want to make sure the, with the brand new player we have here, they get a bit leveled before we consider the swap. Yeah, so I'm figuring, Atreus, if you're looking for some Heaven Striker, I'm going to give you some fair chances at it today. Much XP. One million earned so far in the character. I had three point something million needed to level. Now at 2.1 million. I think he's now my most level force outside my uh, Radiant Phonuman, who is just looking for one quest to level. Just because of this quest. I think he's now pulled in the lead compared to the other characters. I had a few at like 192 and 195, but it's going to be the first 197 in a while. Went from 155 to 158. Got 103. Not bad, not bad. Every level is just more accuracy and more ATP for the team. Although for Hellcleave, it's probably just ATP. 150, 150, I imagine, ATA has been capped by now. It's more about that unit efficiency. Speaking of efficiency, let's rebuff before it falls off. There we go. Debuff and back to Chloe spam. Did you see me get double hit there? Holy. It's got one shot. Me hitting 1400 health might actually be relevant. There we go. Nice and simple. Power material on the floor. I want to grab that before we leave. Did it seriously live with one HP? Come on. <laughs> Come on. That, that's not fair. That, that's Stuff like that shouldn't happen. It had like so much HP. I only have exactly one. What are the odds? Between all the attacks that are hitting it too. <laughs> well, I think team's accuracy is improving because I'm seeing a lot more demons per second in general. Holy. Goodbye, enemy. Got Smart Link on now, nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You slowly just upgrade the character. Raw levels equal more free slots. And suddenly kills are so consistent. Rangers fortunately don't have to worry about Smart Link. But for hunters, it's like, thank you, I can finally hit something at any distance. And the game is already so gun-focused to begin with, it's like, geez, give him a chance. Get rid of some of the lizards, because they're blocking too many shots. There we go. Get rid of most of them.
You know what we haven't seen so far in this quest, despite the double rare enemy chance compared to normal? Where's the uh, Delrappy at? We've, we haven't seen those in like eons. Marissa apparently hit the delete button. I saw that death from full health. Marissa was like, nope, you perish. Nice level up though. Despite the rap despite despite the rapies of the Marissa, it's just level in their face. You might one-shot me, but one day. Yeah, I think our Ranger friend is about four levels from not needing that heavenly HP anymore. And then they can wear something that gives more damage or stats. That'll just improve consistency with survivability and also damage. Let's see how team handles double greater Bulu here. We'll debuff them so we can do some damage. Ooh, already off to a super strong start. And dead, I think. Wow, okay, good start. And there was one. Oh, the demon spam. There we go, the team demon spam. One person trying to lock down with paralysis, so I'm just throwing damage every now and then. Demon says no. Up most of the power materials. I think that's everything I need. Don't need any tri fluids yet, so we'll just go back this way. Guess I can use my stars just to fix synchro now that the mag is done. Should be fine. Remember to talk to the guy this time. It's not bad. We're getting closer to Hellcleave's total. Come on, Heaven Striker. Do it for Hellcleave. Give Hellcleave like a 90. 90 hit. Just, it doesn't even matter what else is on it. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Makes so much from auction. Hellcleave can afford every item in the game in auction. The ultimate heaven striker. Hmm, haven't received any more photon drops lately, which is a bit weird. We have been killing quite a lot, no presents either. So, a bit dry from that sense, but at least we're slowly making progress there. Sad music plays at the, the comment of no items. That that's about right. So we'll do one more. And then if Adrius you wanna hop in. We'll discuss who will be moved. Hellcleave is mandatory since they're for Hellcleave. Get some buffs here. Sand Rappy here. So happy with the progress. Thanks to you guys. No problem, Bishamu. Hopefully, what we have given you, even if alone, has helped you feel where your character can be. I'll take back the power mag at some point when we're done, and I'll take back the heavenly HP. Although honestly, you're at the point where you almost don't need it anymore. You're pretty close. As I said before, maybe five levels, you don't need it anymore. Then you can go full power. Yeah, this is definitely way more progress than you would typically see. Not often you're able to hit like 400 plus XP a second. While also potentially getting shots at endgame rares.
Come on, Paro Goron. Do it for the chat. Where's your Heaven Striker? Yeah, what's kind of nice with the double drop rate up in the Halloween cookie, it's not necessarily for rare odds, it just improves odds. Oh, there we go. It improves odds of getting photon drops and materials. Nothing else. There we go. Oh, that reminds me of Bishamu, because I'm terrible at remembering this in the moment. Did you need to join a team, potentially, to get uh, team benefits like Point of Disaster or the Changing Room? So I can add you to the team. Nice level up. Getting like within probably three levels of not needing the Heavenly HP. You main one, but it's just you. Well, that's up to you. You're welcome to maintain your own team if you want. Ooh, we're going above 500 by quite a bit. So yeah, just I'm just seeing steady progress every run. It's just the XP per second is generally going up and up and up. I'm from about 380 to about 520-ish. So definitely some big progress in clear speed. You'll join mine, sure, sure. There we go. Curiosity, Bishamu, since you started and you come from the GameCube perspective, are there videos you're looking potentially for me to cover as part of a guide that would help you go through things? I'm just curious what people are looking for when they're coming in from a new perspective. Yeah, I unfortunately had to postpone the, uh, ultimate item guide because literally literally two different things happen that changed the uh, item list so I'm like man it's not that they're irrelevant I just I have to go fix the numbers and stuff like that which is not something I want to do in there players like players deals teal flame garment just hoping for a heaven striker for somebody Jeez, game what did you want from that quest I think we covered it in one of the quest guides already there's really not much you get from it I mean the only thing I would have to update from the guide is just if you really want to Kabui, it's very convoluted that's about it I think I mentioned, like, the only ones that were worth getting from, like, a leveling perspective. And even then, I, I put his, I put it in under niche versus required. You watched the shop one that didn't see it. I talked about it in, like, the... Popper guide. I don't remember if it brought up. Like, Claire Steel, I literally was like, there's not really anything worth it. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it verbally. It's really not worth doing, if you're curious. Like, it's just really not good. It's not like the event quests or event shops or stuff like that. Oops. Or the uh, venue quests. So, if you're looking for a power upgrade, you will not get it from that quest. Yeah, I, I don't think I I remember writing out two items exactly the last time I talked about it out of like the list of 12 because they're just terrible. Welcome Zalamiro. Welcome back. But yeah, otherwise it's just kind of eh. I mean, I could probably go back 
in the shop video and probably might write a YouTube comment. I don't know if I want to record a new thing on it. But I think it is worth at least mentioning if I didn't explicitly put it in the video. It's possible I didn't. Go like, oh, these are the things. Because honestly, it's just like... Outside of getting Caduceus... For the Mercurius Rod, which I know I talked about in the Puffer's Guide. I can't really think of anything that would be relevant. And even then, that's still kind of niche. Yeah, I would recommend if you're looking for just the basic information for what's useful at, as like a starting character, the Pauper Guide has the uh, has a little section on it. That one I definitely covered there. Yeah, it's just uh, you combine a whole bunch of random items, like I don't know, like Soul Caliber or like King Striker, and you combine it with like Brave Hammers and all these like five items to get a single item. And in theory, it's really cool because it makes like normally boring hunts worth something. But the problem is like the reward of it is still bad. <laughs> it's like you'll like you could do all this work to get like this item, and it will still not be as good as spending like three hours in a TTF. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't give you anything that's like considered endgame. Pretty much like if you're going for uber only. Yeah, like the new skin shop is like an example of something that came out recently. I could make it a, an, a, an update to the shop list to talk about that explicitly. Maybe that would be worth doing a part two on the shops. Because that, that only changed super, super recently. And that's an example of when you have literally nothing else to do with the game, do you go for these things? These are not things you go for as like a new player. They will not help you clear things. The only other planned video is once Ultimate settles, which again, like I thought it was settled and it updated twice in two big ways that made items completely different in terms of what people want for the end game. We'll go back to that and I think do an ultimate god and Hellcleave will help with some of the prices and stuff. Because I, I think the uh, trade guide is mostly accurate now compared to last year. Last year it had a lot of gaps. Some of it didn't really account for quest changes. But I think since then people have been touching it. Uh, for at least for like at least the past six months in particular. Where it looked mostly accurate to what people were requesting. And people seem to be using it more heavily. But yeah, it's just kind of one of those things, like, we'll mention it at some point, but I, I'm not sure if it's going to take priority. Wow, only 1.7 mil at the level from 3 mil. So much XP today. An ultimate wave. So, one more cookie after this, and then we'll see who's around. Oops. Had to uh, grand slam. Sack some good to delay the Gurdabulu. That was a really fast team in for the team. Both of them got hit. Wow, both of them are getting absolutely destroyed. Rip them. SN glitch. SN glitch. It's so good. <laughs> Demon mech gun. Super broken. <laughs> the duo of brokenness being used on one enemy seems quite unfair. I think I got all my moons back. I think team for the most part has been uh, able to survive anguish one. Definitely compared to like a couple runs ago, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I don't think this character needs a heavenly power anymore. Maybe I'll just get rid of one to be honest. Thinking about it. I'm gonna briefly look at my uh, unit character 
to see if they have anything I could give away to Bishamu here. I'm going to do a quick look there. We're going to do a pause. I'm going to keep everything where it is. I'm going to keep the 10 cookies on this character. So we've used 5 towards Hellcleave. I think we'll use at least another 5. That feeling when you press the A button one too many times. It wasn't even mashing. I just hit it literally one too many times. Unfortunate. Okay. I'll briefly check my other characters and see if there's something we could do for assistance. Yeah, I think there's a... There's a couple other weird quests that are, like, Japanese only. Generally speaking, they're not relevant to runs. I've tried them out a few times just to see, like, oh, is this a quest just because it's not in English? You know, maybe it's still really good. No, they're, re they're really terrible. Really terrible. I'm new. You recommend using PDs for mats first and foremost. Um, hmm, that's a good question. I'll definitely take Hellcleave's opinion. Like, order of PDs, most important use. I imagine materials are pretty high up there for a fresh character. I don't know if I put them over Mag. I put both of them pretty much near the top. But then it's like, it's always that mix of where do you put like then your most needed. Probably Matt's Mag and then a weapon. Something like that. And then you could just get like a cheap weapon. We're talking like super cheap. Yeah. Let me just move some stuff around, chat. It's like, basically, you just need, like, a star. Like, for example, with Ranger, like, for one PD, you know, it's kind of hard to say no to the spread needle. Like, it's going to help you out. Then after that, you try to get sets of 50 charge. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so I got some Heavenly Battles. I'll put one back in my other one for later. Uh... God mine is not super useful. Do I have my spares for the T? Um, Thirty-five vice. Lucky King Bar with thirty hit. Interesting. Frozen shooters, Baran's launchers. Oh yeah, I could just give a Baran's launcher away. What am I doing? I don't need this many. How much did they run? I believe about 9 PD. Uh, I don't, I couldn't do the math. It's not something I do very often. I'm gonna put question mark. I swear I had charge arms. I didn't give that many away. Where are the others? Like, I did give away two. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I didn't have tons and tons, but I had like 10. I mean, granted, I put some on my other characters, but I should have still had more. I have to use that character reader to see what happened to them. They must have gone in a character bank by accident. It is unfortunate that that happened. Uh, I'm gonna check one more character and then we'll move forward. It's possible that they're on my other character. Because I had two characters that had weapons and I gotta clean them up a little bit. I'll throw them Vulcan's arms and play in HS you get the stuff back. Nice, nice. I don't know if he can salvage the Madu. It's really late from the levels you were giving. I don't think you can make it even up in a way that's useful. You could throw stuff... You could just throw powers at it and make it just kind of an off power mag, but... I think long term you're gonna need something more developed. Because invincibility when knocked down saves a ton of time. It makes certain runs like way easier too. Like if you're if you're ever planning to do episode two, it's like 100 percent mandatory you get like a Talesius or at least a Nidra. 
Yeah, especially if it doesn't have my Lula, that also hurts quite a bit. I think Madu technically goes into it, but it depends on what was leading into it, whether or not you get it. Uh, don't need any of these. Yeah, I don't see any spares in there. Huh. Weird. Just checking real quick. Do you have anything useful? Celestial armor is a four slaughter. Yeah, like, it's it's okay, but it's more people use it for the mag triggers. <laughs> like, when not low on health, being invincible would have saved you, like, a ton of time, for example. I'm just looking to see if I have anything in here worth handing over. Hmm. I guess Lieutenant Mantle is a pretty solid item. How much is that needed to use? 101? Yeah, you can use that now. So if you want to see traps, it's always fun. Oh, here's the god abilities. I thought I had a couple. Give you two. Do you have any god powers left? No. Yeah, heavenly powers I feel like I'm pretty much tied up on. Okay. That's just what I was looking for. Um... See bank two. Let's proceed. Yeah, I'm thinking if I give Bishamu a lieutenant mantle and give him the ad slots to use it, he'll probably be fine. Because again, that has utility of seeing traps, which is good for new players to learn layouts and also can help with uh, teammates if you're playing with casts to shoot on purpose. Sometimes not great if you don't, you know, not good to destroy all your uh, teammates' traps. Really just depends, but it's at least an armor to use. Let's go back here. I think I've been leaning more towards virus armor lately, but I think it's still pretty solid alternate armor. So we'll do one more cookie. Random Guardian Shield in my inventory. Slots later. That's what I have bronze badges for, to be honest. Plus, there's some I put away. Like, this is just the floating four that I have. That means I picked them up in runs. Sadly, I gotta do one by one because I really don't want to put away my other things. So take a look at these. You could probably hand me back the Heavenly HP. I don't think you need it anymore. I think you have enough raw HP and defense to survive crits at this point. Just missing one slot. Yeah, this will be way more defense than the other thing, granted. Yeah, and I'll put that back. Yeah, and then you can replace that heavenly HP with a god ability, which will slightly reduce damage taken, but more importantly, increases luck, aka crit chance, a little bit of accuracy, which again, super important, and more damage. And then Lieutenant Mantle with four ad slots equipped is pretty good. Should be pretty high defense.
Okay. Yeah, and then I would recommend if you end up having like those four slaughters, if you find frames or armors, you save them for another character. Ne never get rid of the four slots if they're of useful levels. Like level one and level 80 or 85 is probably the best to keep. The in-between ones, not so much. If you're if you're raw leveling them, you shouldn't be swapping armor very often. Time. Nice level up. so done. I can already tell. You're gonna get hosed. Goodbye. Nice power material. fail. I migated randomly. I think I wanted to grant that, but I missed. Yeah, gradually you should see even just your base damage increasing. More importantly, that extra luck. Being able to even just do any enhanced damage randomly is nice for speed clears. Some sure Slicer Fanatic is just like pretty much automatic at this point on every enemy. Drop, nice. Super Marissa's, get out of here. Finally, a photon drop. It's getting worried. Oh, I wasn't seeing them forever. I was easily over uh, 2,000 enemies killed before I saw one. Easily. should scrap the money and we're gonna make a new Kalki. Maybe. I mean, it's like... Potentially, the nice thing though is that the Madu, even if it's a, even if it's not a great mag and you can't fix it, at least from the standpoint of leveling, if you need something to like carry you, you can at least like dimate it or the equivalency to get power while you just focus on anti-paralysis with the other one. I do recommend you take a look at the uh, Popper's Guide, because we talk about the uh, routing for some of the basic mags. Nidra is the fastest thing to level, as is anything that's able to use something like a unit. Oh, there's a Pazuzu. Jeez. Why, hello there, Pazuzu. Are you anything interesting in green, or are you a troll pick? Are you, like, actual cannon rouge, or are you just BS? and off, apparently. <laughs> I'll pick it up just to junk it. 
I know one of the IDs gets Cannon Rouge Pazuzu. I'll take those cheap points to possibly add more uh, slots to the team. So, at least, it went to good use at least. Oops. Debuff them, since the team's mostly melee. Nice level up. Yeah, so even like, like unsalvageable mags, quote unquote, still put diamates towards it to at least power up while the other mags are being created. Usually, as I said before, if I have mags that are like out of sync, like ones in final phase, actually that's what I like to do in single player. If I'm not like just straight up sitting there in front of the mag shop and I want to play the game, I'll have one mag that is basically done and just needs to be diamated for like 50 levels. And then while that's happening, I start feeding the other one anti-paralysis and stuff like that. So that way I have two different sets of items that I can raise as I go through. That's, I think, what I started doing towards the end, but I, I haven't bothered mag raising for the most part in a long time. Oops. Help Cleave is out of range. Rip Help Cleave. Congrats, Help Cleave on 159. Oops. Rip team. Fireball damage is real. Yeah, now you'll now you'll after the stream go to something like Forest and go, whew, what a, what an easy clear now. There's so many different weapons to shut down all these enemies. Do whatever I want. HP pretty solid. Defense good. Hunter at 109 in levels. Oh, Snake's fired. Don't get me excited. I thought you were both on Crystal. So sad. Nice level up. Poor enemies, John. What can they do? Hmm. I'm actually finally starting to get low on fluids. More than enough to finish the run, of course, but... It's an obs observation. I'm down to four. Try fluids. Get rid of these. Get out of here, Gertabulu. Yeah, I'll just restock after this run, I think. Well, maybe one more run to restock. Still can't believe this character got over 1.5 mil XP. What a ridiculous quest. Heaven Strikers, no V101. Did see a Pazuzu though. Come on, game. Give us what we want. It's a stark contrast to when we played last time and there were like three Heaven Strikers in three runs. Hmm. Chris has poison back up on his channel. Is he feeling better? Did he get the surgery? Not following the Chris lore. Well, thank you for sticking around, Charlie. Hopefully you enjoy Chris's stream. Ooh, their set damage is kind of high.
Yeah, see, so you, you can just barely survive it. It's kind of rough. Get out of here. A bit, uh, Marissa's. Oh well. I'll let a few levels won't even out. So I'm thinking we're, we're going to go to nine cookies. Let's do three more and then we'll wrap up with TTF because I need food. <laughs> we'll, we'll save the rest for another time, but hopefully this got through a lot of what help we've... Was, oh gosh, I have got absolutely wombo comboed. There is nothing I could have done there. I, I even tried to die mate. They were just doing so much raw damage to me. It sucked. Oh, uh, they killed me through Red Ring, too. Gel and Red Ring, they're like, no, we're just gonna do 200 to you, like, several times a second. How many used? Uh, six. So far, six. If we do three more, then it'll be nine. Yeah, I'm mostly just feeling hungry. I need that break. Yeah, I'll I'll leave it on I'll leave it on the character. Yeah, don't worry, Hulk leave. As I said before, I subtracted. So this 15 is well. The 15 is down to 9, so we've used 6 so far of, of the 15. So this character will forever hold Hellcleave's total. And if Hellcleave ever changes his mind about the run, it's over. <laughs> I'll, I'll not I'll not keep track of it. Let's see, let's pick these up. Get some fluids. There we go. Uh, six tri six die, three tries, probably okay. I don't need to go back for that. Eat more star atomizers, fix my synchro. Yeah, if you want health leave when it's over, just write the number in the chat. <laughs> we could just... Not the Twitch chat, but the uh, Discord chat. Be like, you've used... Then we can just point at it. <laughs> yeah, so I know we did some Cycle Wand stuff together. But, uh, a little unfortunate. I am happy to get the XP, though. That I'm not going to be upset about. That XP is so good. So question, aside from Adrius, is there anybody looking to hop in? Let's talk about who's coming in the next group. I guess the first question is, is Adrius there? here but good either way what's up to you happy just to hang out okay then we'll keep the team we'll keep the team as is oh baran's launcher thank you see i tune out sometimes like i pick it up but then i'm like thinking dang i'm hungry <laughs> it just it deletes the thought yeah i did put it in here i believe thank you yeah please remind me chat i will say it and then forget about it oh not my 50 hit that would tilt me <laughs> just You'll need to use Photon Crystals on this, but eventually it'll be good. Yeah, then we'll just continue with the current group then. Yeah, so overall got a decent amount of materials. Yeah, 
this XP is so crazy, though. Actually, we'll do it this way. We're gonna play until I level. How is that? Just so I don't have to look at it and be like, oh, I'm almost 197. We'll play until I level, then we'll switch to, like, a DTF. To end the run. So that should still... That's, like, technically four, I think. It'll be four cookies, so it'll leave me with five. And then we'll just do a group TTF. Oops, what am I doing? There we go. Up time. Oh, random trifluid, thank you. Yeah. Too bad B time just coming up. I mean, by the time this one's done, we could get a couple in B time if you wanted. Is there some? Well, I'm assuming you wanted to beat time into the cookie. Or if you just wanted to do something else during B time, let me know, hopefully. I'm okay either way. Get rid of you, Gardabulu. On the plus side, your rocket seal has been getting a lot of XP for later. Oh, would have been nice for the whole round. That's fair. The power of PP laser is real. Debuff, debuff. That's Slicer Fanatic doing work. Yeah. Really good. Honestly, you can even use it as humor. It's really busted. I just didn't have a lot of them before, and then I didn't like using them on the males since they hop forward a lot. But on the females, where they're mostly stationary, did you need like a like a random zeroed one in parameter? It's it's really busted. It's not quite like Demon Mech Gun busted, but it's like it cheats the accuracy busted and is is way useful at low levels and has like no requirement. Oh, you're still looking for three Hellcleave? Oh, you should have let me know. I've been holding on to them. And we could do, uh... We could do one... Not necessarily... Well, I mean, we could technically do cookie runs for it. But if you wanted to do, uh... Other quests just to get Slicer Fanatic... Yeah. Looking for better with it? That's fair. Yeah, Ignition Close is expensive. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Where, like, it's really good. It's just... It's not like some. It's when you're done with the character. It's not quite luxury rare status because I think it is actually really useful to get. Between the fire resist and the actual damage buff, it does help with clears. What should I use instead for now? Did you pick up any like congeal cloaks along the way? Oh, I got. I thought I used my die mate there. I did not. I hovered it, didn't use it. A new error. Yeah. Uh, I would say probably congeal cloaks. You didn't get one? Hmm. If you make a game in about, mm, let's say six minutes, I should have a congeal cloak for you. It's the uh, same thing as ignition cloak, but it's ice. Ice is not as used as much as fire, but I'm also going to be honest with you. I like ice a lot more if I'm doing episode 4 boss. There's just so many... It just saves so much time to just do 10% more damage across everything. But it already takes like 15 plus casts to kill. Although I don't think I have ad slots for you. Yeah. Yeah, they're not super hard to get. Like, you either literally play very hard or whatever. Like, you you don't even have to necessarily trade for them. Like, they're really not that hard to pick up. You just gotta play the red difficulty. We got one literally randomly. <laughs> just playing normal mode. So they're not insanely hard to get. Uh, let's debuff. 
Yeah, what that'll do is it'll give you Ice Resist, which helps a little bit. Also, if you're getting, like, Wombo Comboed by Falls or getting hit by Gurtabulu. So it still has some uses for the Resist. It's just not as relevant as Fire, sadly. If you're playing, like, uh, for example, Po Newell into Ruins, I also really, really like Congeal Cloak into there. Just combine that with, like, the Ace, the Mace of Adamant and uh, Kajil Cloak plus like Barda Merge or like some weird specific tech uh, booster for Barda. It does like a really stupid amount of damage in single player. Like to the point you could do like 1100 damage with Barda. So that poor, poor uh, Chaos Runner with less than 4k health gets 2-3 shot and basically bodied. Okay. So one of them kept teleporting and dodging my debuffs. I did not appreciate that from the enemy. But yeah, Slicer Fanatic's really good. But for Imperameter, if you just want to try it, it's really good. It's just easier on females. And then Fomarl has, like, the best animation of all time, which is why I use it on her 24-7. I'm like, listen, I don't want to use other weapons. It's so OP. But yeah. You get it from uh, Pink ID and apparently Orange ID from Satellite Lizards is where we've been getting them. Or no, Pink gets it from uh, Gorons, I think. Yeah, we'll get you a zero hitter. It's super cheesy. As I said before, it's super cheesy. It's a little hard to set up in single player, but in multiplayer, when there's a lot of decoys and traps flying around, it's like, oh, it's just brain dead easy. It's to the point where you could just like one shot like Barans, just do the glitch into like one heart attack, and potentially that's just good enough to kill them. So characters with high ATP even benefit from it just because they can do enough raw damage to always kill on the follow-up heart attack without a crit. Assuming it's not like some anguish or super BS late game area, it should just kill every time. Yeah, the real magic of it is that for characters that have multiple parts, it hits all of those parts. So as you've probably seen against the Gurdabulu, you get three chances of it. So it's not too dissimilar in the sense that Demon Mech gets three shots. The difference being that the accuracy required is hilariously lower. So... <laughs> Trade-off, positioning, can't chain multiple specials. Can't do like normal, special, normal. For example, with Mech Gun, or... Yeah. Can't necessarily do the same things you could do with Mech Guns for all ATP. Nice levels. Did you just play like two notes and pause? Well, that one's for try. Went straight to Final Fantasy VI. It's like, you will finish that video. Wide open. Thank you for the follow, Gems. Hopefully you're doing well, and hopefully if you've been playing PSO, you've been enjoying the event, or if you're playing GameCube or whatever, that uh, it's going well. Ooh, devastating fanatics. But yeah, it's a, it's a item I pretty much recommend on pretty much all human rangers and full moral. Just it's so fun. I need to make sure not to give away all of mine, so I'll keep- I think I have one with hit spare. I think I have Fomarl with one and that one. Oh, th yeah, that's true. Sorry. I meant human hunters and rangers. Or Hugh New World, excuse me. Yeah. Non-cast was a much better way to say that. It was more succinct. Also, I'm gonna die, I think. No? Hmm? Okay. It was like, <laughs> I go forward instead of healing there. So I was like, let me try to frame one die mate. I'm like, oh, team got me on that one. Yeah, less useful, unfortunately, on the casts. Just do the reduced uh, rate at which it reduces HP and ultimate for cast versus humans. Cleave already a whopping 159. There we go. 
And then after this, I'll check, um... Uh, might be in this character share bank? I'm gonna check quickly. If it is, I'll just make it this leave immediately. I do like congeal, as I said before. I think, I think people sleep on it. It's very useful in certain runs. I like it too if you're playing, like, support force too. Where, like, if you're gonna end up rebartering, like, half of the wave anyway, which can happen on certain quests, uh, that little damage slowly adds up. Or, as I said before, if you're using Barda, which is where I like it on the faux neural. So if it's, if it's on a faux neural in particular, it makes her Barda, like, stupid good. It's like 80 damage or something added to it if you're high level. It's kind of nonsense, honestly. Goodbye, Zeus. Need to stop standing in the middle there. Try to stunlock them a little better here. There we go. Got a nice little stunlock going with him. Oop. But he hit my target. Rip stunlock. Demons. Disgusting. Just, I'm, just, I'm just watching that health just go boop. <laughs> or boss. Or mini boss, more accurately. Let's see. Oh, look at that, Chad. Ogre power plus plus. Does anybody know if it was just removed in Blue Burst, or if that was just a server issue? I remember that in the GameCube version, that's why I'm asking. Because that was not a thing that happened before. Uh, this month, that is. Hmm, is the Kajil Cloak in here? There is one. I also have a Tempest Cloak. Same kind of deal. Fire is generally more useful. I do like Tempest Cloak though, specifically for Forest Ultimate. There are so many enemies that take lightning damage. That it's actually kind of silly. I end up using lightning almost like 80% of the run. Which is very weird when you compare it to episode 4, where it's so Kafoe focused. Um, and I feel like Ruins, as I said before, is kind of Barda focused on certain enemies. Like, the big bads just melt to Barda. Barda and Thunder, where Fire is kind of okay. Mines is also a big Kafoe place. Except for the Barans. So, yeah, let's, uh, I'll drop. I'll join Adrius's game. If Adrius is there, I'll give Adrius the uh, Congeal Cloak. Because it's better than nothing. It's free damage. So again, when you're trying to Rabarda spam, you're able to at least do some damage. Oh, I see Adrius here. I'll make a game for Adrius then. Ziggy Trade. If I was smarter, I would have just got. I would just grab the Kajil Cloak immediately when I saw it. Oops. Yeah, I, I didn't check how many slots it has. I'm assuming zero. Yeah. Uh, there you go. And back to the game. No problem. Hopefully that helps. You three can joke close to seeing the buyout slots. They're not bad, as I said before. I, I like them actually for episode four boss. But that's more under the understanding of a phone world. Because, like, uh, I'll give an example. Astarks get bodied by Barda. Uh, a lot- some of the Pyrogorons get bodied. Move forward. 
zoos. Zoos are really fun to one shot with the Bardos. I usually bring out Mace of Adamin specifically for them if I'm Phone Roll. Being able to three shot those is a relief. And depending on what mix of stats you are, you may or may not need the 10%, but it putting you to the point where you can three shot is huge. Because potentially doing a quick back to back Barda means you've hit two or more targets and they die very quickly. Or, as I said before, when you have the mixed Buddha types in there and you're spamming freeze after you've already Kapoe stacked, uh, it's just free damage on everybody. Not to mention the episode 4 boss itself is usually only taking cold damage. So if you're playing solo, any little bit of damage you could do, because it already takes upwards of 10 casts to kill, uh, to reduce that to even 9 or 8 is kind of huge. Like, here's an example where a Congeal Cloak would have sped up a, a lot of the kill speed. There are some waves where it is just kind of oops all ice. So having a nice Staff Agni, for example, helps a lot. Okay, back to Kapoe spam. Yeah, the way I kind of view it, especially if you're playing with a multi-force group, if two people are dedicated to Kapoe, there's usually not a big reason for the third force to also be kafoe because two forces alone are usually enough to kill everything if they're both Phonumens and stacking properly with Kapoe merge. So having one player actually with Rebarda merge is really good. Oh, you're short one level? Oh. We'll have to fix that at some point. At least you're pretty close. Photon Crystal, there we go. Yeah, so just remember those Photon Crystals can help charge up that Baran's launcher by completing the monster quest. I'll leave already 160. Jeez, teams 115 and 113. Remember at the beginning of the stream chat when people were like level one? <laughs> Do you remember that? Another level up. Some people coming in mid, mid 30s, doesn't matter. Millions of XP. level. Ooh, that was not picking up the power material. That was swinging at something I couldn't pick up. It was right next to it, right? I'm so lost. Where is it that I... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, I swear I was right on it according to the minimap. Oh, and then, then yeah, then I'm gonna go get a, uh, what's it called? A, uh, Slicer 4 and Parameter. Then Parameter can enjoy that slicery goodness of a really cheap Slicer Fanatic. <laughs> Let alone, like, a top-tier one. And reminder, Chad, if you ever don't need the stuff that I've given you, you can eventually give it back if you want. It'll just go out to new players. We've had a couple people do that before. That way, when people are just looking to get their 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 standing, as it were, to clear on their own, having all those spare god abilities that people didn't need, or you know, some random ranger hunter weapons, has definitely helped. Oh, slicer, you're so good though. It's a lure time for sure. I'll throw on some zaps to slow them down and stunlock the Grand Detonators, though I feel like the Gardabooli is about to die. 
I have an extra high level D band, maybe? I think so? I'm pretty sure. I think I might have used my left shifter, but D band, I think I do. It'll be level 30. I don't, I don't usually collect lower than that because I don't see the point. Although surprisingly, now that you bring it up, I haven't seen level 30 techs drop in a while. Where's my uh, Jelen's allure? Come on, episode four, you're slacking. <laughs> How am I gonna support making like five million forces on the server? Debuff down. We'll do our best to just get Foley spam to get rid of the wizards and stunlock the zoo to some extent. Make life easier for chat. It's already at a hilariously high. 765 HP from like 712 or something earlier. A run ago. So definitely set damage is becoming less and less threatening. Yeah, there's a strong possibility, I think, on Monday. I will... After I'm done with family stuff, I'll probably do off-stream PSO. I'm not going to commit to streaming PSO on Monday. I, I don't think I want to. So people are in the Discord. They're welcome to join in. I'm probably just going to do some CFs or something. So people want XP. I want to level up that pink ID character we just made. And also get more ch chances as a slicer and limiter, because I'd still like to have another limiter at some point. Because I need stuff to unlock if Hellcleave's gonna give me lames later. Oh my gosh, the demons. Demons, stop. No, you're too powerful. And just keep in mind, like, you're seeing it, and it's just gonna be even more consistent outside of Anguish, because Anguish reduces it from 75% to 30%. Yeah, it's gonna be so gross. Oop, I got bodied. <laughs> the belly flop, it got me. But yeah, now, once... 765 health is probably good enough to do most, uh... I mean, technically, it's the... 720, I think, is the minimum health I do for falls. Because you survive slap. It's like, technically, you can hop in TTFs at this level. At least you have some units to back up your damage. Sadly, Slicer is not very powerful there. That's where you're gonna need, you know, your spread needle for stun locks on the bolt op, where you'll need charge arm or something for big damage. Technically, you could do Slicer, but some of those arrows areas are kind of narrow. But hey, at least there's some raw stats coming. Oof! Brutal, brutal, brutal. Or Marissa's. I should probably debuff. There we go. Ooh. Why can't I debuff the other one? There we go. Weird been like two steps out of distance because I barely had to move and I put them back in range. Unfortunate. Nice photon draw. Now you too can teach people the power of Slicer Fanatic. <laughs> Become a believer. Watch how unbelievably OP it makes your runs. Especially when you're playing uh, high difficulty stuff like this. Like, mmm. Like, yeah, there's technically... 
technically a penalty for it to activate from 30 from 75% to uh, 30. But it doesn't care. That's why it hits three times. <laughs> nice, final wave. Got two more cookies to go. And I will check my other character for D-Bands, because that'll be on my component character, not this character. Rip Greta Bulu. Nice, another photon draw. Now let's actually pick up some grinders, given that I reserve space for them. There we go, nice and simple. I mean, if I'm lucky, I left one in here from when I was trading and didn't need it. Speaking of which, there it is. I don't need to swap characters. That makes my life simple. So I'm going to hop into another game with Adrius and give a D-Band 30. And then uh, bu 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 I'll check for Slicer in the next game and drop it. I caught myself that time. I almost went to the counter. Okay, I'll join Adrius' game real quick, drop that off, then we'll move on. Nice, got the ad slots, congrats. Forgot to put in my inventory again. That's okay, we're gonna blame not having food. <laughs> I, think, I think that's a pretty valid excuse. So let's see. Wow, only only seven mil left. Oof. Okay, yeah, might as well make it the three cookies to be honest. Let's see, D band thirty. There we go. Okay. Ziggy, cookie. Then I'm gonna check my share bank for another slicer. It is quite fun. Yeah, as long as it's not my literal last slicer, I'll give it away. I'm going with 15 hit. Mm. Oh, really not have another one. The 25 hit is the floater. That's fine. Here's the deal. I'm going to loan this to you. I'm going to do my lookup on the character sheet and see where the other one is. I haven't used it in a while, though. So enjoy the 15 hit for now, but I do want to swap it at some point for something else. right now. I'll find which character has it. New character data. Oh, I gotta put in my password. Oops. Oh boy, that's gonna be interesting. I haven't typed the password for this in ages. Well, we get one shot at it. Let's see if we get it to work. combo.
I'll have to reset password later. I'm not gonna think about it. I think I changed it somewhat recently, but I don't know if it's because it's... Like, I changed my username recently, too, in the forum. I'm like, uh... Maybe it wants my old account name? That's also possible. So we're looking for... It looks like somebody should be here. We only have three people here. There we go. Aw, oh, see that? That's what's confusing. See, it took my old account name even though I, I changed it. That threw me off. I feel less bad. I didn't mistype the password. I was like, wait a minute. Oh boy. We're gonna move this over here for now. Next time I get a chance, I'm gonna control F Slicer Fanatic and see if I got one more. We'll loan it out for now. I figured while the wave was easy, we just do the exchange. So yeah, just remember special, the normal, and make sure the first strike hits. Once once the first strike hits, then you can do another special if you want. That's the only trick to it. I like a little, very minor amount of practice. You'll get the rhythm for it. And then after that, it's just learning where to stand. Males, unfortunately, launch really far forward. But it's still decent. Yeah, I'll probably leave the 15 accuracy one. Maybe I will just... Maybe that'll motivate me to play Humor again. Just put my, like, 15 hit Slicer on him. I've put Slicers on him before, but not Slicer of Fnatic. You New World, I don't think I've ever tried that either. But I've definitely done it with every other character. And that's fine. I'll be playing IDs that farm them, even if they're all zeroed. I think it'll be fun. Flash, I have a floating 25 hit, which is not a big deal. Yeah, I think I left it. I think I left a 35 on the Ramar because I thought it was funny that he could just straight up use it as is. And I think a 30 might be on the Fomoral. I was just thinking, ooh, I should do that on the faux new world. I haven't played her in a while. That'll that'll motivate me to cap her ATA. <laughs> like, let's go. this lone lizard. There we go. <laughs> like, you're here somewhere.
Yeah, next time it's just Gurdabulu. If When it's Lone Gurdabulu, I'm gonna hit Control F on the list. I feel like we're coming up to it soonish. Like one Gurdabulu in the corner first. Gurdabulu already super low on health. I'm just gonna go ahead and get France you. Let's look at a team's health total. 771 and 868. Ooh, so much HP. It's like one day they'll stop teleporting on me. Stop that. By Gorm Detonators. You'll be available kind of late. Yeah. We're going to be taking the break, Tiggy. Food calls. We'll be wrapping up probably, probably by 7, if I had to guess the time with CTF. But we've been doing a lot of cookie runs for Help Leave. We got a lot of people up to uh, 80. Helping out new players, helping out veterans. Did you see that, uh, the time, Tiggy? For the power leveling? I didn't check the Discord comments yet. Wanted to do mine, but didn't want to leave you out. If you're on late night, Tiggy, message me. I'll, I'll play, but I need like a, I need like a three hour decompress after we're done with food. Then I'll then I could do like an hour and a half of runs. Yeah. But I definitely need food and then I need to catch up on other things, like making sure YouTube videos are uploading, etc. I did tr I did try to go through and upload YouTube videos and make sure things are there. There's only one thing I think I need to correct. And then the week's PSO videos will be good. So they should be coming out at a steady rate. I think I'm just missing ones from Wednesday specifically. I think I have to go back through. That was the one where I, I lost the recording after Calvisham. I got the Calvisham gameplay and review, but not the actual PSO gameplay. So once I review that uh, a little bit on Monday slash today, then I'll be caught up, I think, on videos. Because everything else should just be able to be uploaded. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I might, I might be a little slow to respond. Just just at me directly, just in case. Because I know sometimes my thing will go into, like, uh, streamer mode or whatever. And that should mostly bypass it. So for whatever reason, my PC eats it while I'm on my phone, for example. So I'll get it. Oh, well, speaking of which. Slicer of Fanatic. When a 25 hit on the Fomoral, there's a 15 hit in the bank that she has. Interesting. I have a zeroed. Who has it? My f Omar has a zeroed one in his bank? Why? Okay, well, the more you know. <laughs> okay, so that one I can give away permanently, but I do want to keep the ones with the percentage. I mean, if this is accurate, then that should be it. Because it says my 196 Green Ill Fomar, aka the character I'm playing, has it. I don't remember giving him a slicer. Which is fine. Yeah, he'll probably end up he'll probably end up permanently using the 15 hit, just so his accuracy is good enough to hit without uh big combos. So I'll minimize that. If I feel like that's a line, then that's good.
up. I pick up that Gafoe? I think I do. Where did it drop? I have no idea. It's just, it's here somewhere. I'm gonna look for it post. I was looking at it, I was like, ah, oh, it's probably, it's probably a 29 that's usable. I do need more of those. They are really good for a reason. Yeah, I should leave those on the floor. Almost done with the run at least. That Gabarda, though. That Gabarda can stay on the floor. That can absolutely stay on the floor. No interest. Okay, debuff time. I'll get some stuns in there. Oh my gosh, the demons. GG. Demons said no. <laughs> Team just doing the double the double SN glitch. <laughs> just, they had enough of Gurdabulu. They're like, listen, I'm tired of doing like 30 damage with Mecha and Parish. GG. Where is this... Horrible, horrible technique in this wall of items. Okay, I can restock these. No. Still good. I'm looking more at the game versus the map. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Actually, it didn't take as long to find. Normally, I have absolutely atrocious luck at finding it, but that actually wasn't bad. I still had more than half the room unexplored. Glad the slicer is working out. Let me see if I have the zeroed one according to this in my bag. Yep. It's kind of there. So we'll do an exchange. I'm going to drop the real one over there. I'll take my hit one back. You can keep that zeroed one for now. <laughs> Until you no longer need it, then you get to sand it back to me. But, oh boy, what a difference that makes. The 29 away. Yeah, it's not going to be super different, fortunately. But you can see even just like with min roll hit, potentially how useful it is. So it looks like two more cookie quests, so they'll leave me at four left. And then, yeah, I don't know, TTF might be pushing it. We'll see. Yeah, I'm going for level. <laughs> I was like, I want that level, Hellcleave, I want it bad. Unless we do a cookie into a TTF and I play green ID into it. But I don't think I want to do that. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it's on stun locking the boss. <laughs> I don't mind every other part of that Ron, but I'm like, yeah, I, I kind of don't want to do that. I'll be real with you. I just like doing it on the phone Newman, let alone this character. Okay, got an okay amount of grinders out of the deal, even though I've left a lot behind. It's still better than nothing, because I need about three sets of 60 or so. I feel like I gathered that between yesterday and today, to be honest. Oops, one more person. I was gonna say, I'm sure Vishavu didn't think he would be this powered up in one session. But here we are. All of the raw stats and items. Rip warp. <laughs> I just see random Rappies with 400 health. Raffy just getting dunked out of nowhere.
Ooh, is the lore 30? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I actually actively need that. I think ID character was missing that. Because I ran out of Zalors. There we go. See, chat, I complained about lack of level 30 techniques. Get like two of them almost back to back in different runs. Where's your heaven hit heaven striker? It's coming, Hellcleave. <laughs> well, like. Darn you, game. You're overdue for at least a 90 hit on tech striker. It's shenanigans. Clearly, the system is rigged. <laughs> Try again, PSO RNG. It is really funny to see this character actually level from this quest. Both from number of times doing the quest, but also just the fact the quest is this X speed. Yeah, 785 health. All those level ups at defense. Should be fairly safe. I feel bad I'm now like the slow kill here. Oh, he is not strong enough. There we go, that's big damage. Yeah, you can see, like, I put them at half health basically by myself, so, like, two forces would be able to kill everything, even in Anguish 1, by themselves. Like, a third force would just need to pick another element. Or, like, play sort of fanatic spam everywhere, because it's funny. <laughs> that's where I kind of like the Fomoral. She's a really good third force. Like, she, she will do the slicer duties. She will, she has Congeal Cloak. She even has Rebarta Burge. Like, she's ready to just pull on Ice Mage if she needs to. Welcome the enemy into the no-fun zone. What's on draw? I picked up the Justy. That's not what I wanted. Baited. We're gonna team junk it so I don't pick it up again. Fluiding. The power material, not bad. Yeah, I'm also hoping that all of these uh, runs are helping the... Basically everybody here get materials that they need. I was gonna say new players, but no, just everybody in general. Even Hellcleave wants materials. It's just, it's PD. It's collected of them. They become PDs. <laughs> There we go. Get rid of this enemy. It is kind of funny that I'm just gonna face tank for the party the whole time. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. You have to fund your Hucast army now? Oh no. They're starving. For only three power materials a day, you too could be a supporter of Hellcleave's army. A starving Hucast army. Okay, let's Razan Stunlock. Oh, seven more. Brutal. Although I just also realized I've now made so many potential characters. And I only have one bank left for items for other players. It's fine. So yeah, I might have to do a hard cutoff on myself. Just have one more bank dedicated to uh, probably probably rock casts, four rock casts on the final slot, and then the other three are a mix of raw moral and other rangers. Honestly, another raw moral might be fine now that I have the equipment for them. 
But that's that's real long term. I'm not in a rush for that. Getting the pink ID was crucial for me because I need to be able to uh, CF four. And also do episode four without being hilariously underpowered. Uh oh, someone's out of range. Just make one of the alts hold the stuff. How clear if I have four characters holding stuff? What are you talking about? I have a whole bank for that. I'm out of space. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I do. I I literally can't. I have that much. <laughs> like, that's what I was talking about before. He capped. He's at 199. I have two characters holding stuff. I might need to have another one. Yeah. And oh, unless you just mean like your your playable alts do it, maybe. Technically, I could do that. Although it feel weird not being able to put away escape dolls. That'll make me sad. <laughs> that now makes more sense. I understand. Hopefully. <laughs> oh wait, wait a minute. I mean, technically, I could play my Humar that's there, but we know how that goes. He banned 29. Oh, so close to being useful. So close. Wow, 118, 119. Health totals 884 and 791 as you hit 120. Congratulations. Yeah, that's 120 is a prime level to consider TTF on your own. It's nice. Although, stupid falls with the uh, bounce shot, though, still a problem. If you had a couple of heavenlies full time, it wouldn't be too bad. I'm sure it's been an absolute joy watching your accuracy climb and that Slicer Fanatic is somehow getting more and more accurate. If you have that accuracy out on, it gets really silly how high it is. I mean, just look at the difference. If you have an 87% chance of lighting your first hit, it's a hundred. It's literally double in some scenarios on the second hit. It's just actual shenanigans, how, how much of a bonus that is. So 1% potentially transferring it to two almost every time. Just more and more and more accurate. And as I mentioned before, if you like slicers and you're looking for an alt character, faux moral time. It is time to faux moral. She's she's the unkillable single player tank. Legit can have such ludicrous resistances on top of being have on top of having the best slicer animation in the game. Just ridiculous. Slicer fanatic goddess. She will destroy everything. I like how she like barely moves too. So it's like if you miss, you don't even have to reposition. It's like, oh, what a thing of beauty. <laughs> glitch, glitch attack harder. Oh, Hellcleave hitting 161. Congratulations, Hellcleave. Did you seriously knock me down? That was so rude. Knock me down twice. Fine. I'll frame one trifluid just so I can finally debuff you. Jerks. <laughs> wow. Stop hitting me out of my buffs. Bad game. Don't appreciate that Gordon Detonator. Yeah, we gotta be nearing the end of the run, just purely from the fact. I only have 120,000 left. Oh no, is the whole opera on this? I don't want to listen to that. Rip. Yeah, their crits are still very silly. I do like this song, though. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Chat's playing on all the slicers. Oh my god. What what horrible plague have I brought upon these poor Gertabulu? <laughs> all their all their HP gone. Yeah, sadly, it's not as useful in some scenarios. Like, great example, Epsilon, it's really hard to get in the right position to glitch and not get hit. But on most other enemies that are mini-bosses, it's fine. Just want the die fluid. There we go. I think I could do that without backing. Let's uh, put this lure away, though. That's actually a huge pickup for today. It's one more cookie for Hellcleave. Reason you make melee demons makes sense, Hellcleave. 100% get it. Especially when you're saying Saber, I'm like, why would you use it? <laughs> and I'm like, go right episode two. <laughs> I remember when you said that to me before, I'm like, why do you need melee? I'm like, I don't care if it's more accurate. Why would I get close? And then I'm like, oh. Never mind. Riddle solved. <laughs> So one last cookie, a little bit of even beat left. I will open the floor if the team wanted to do an even beat run over TTF. It should be there. Since I need white, should I make a Fomoral? I love white ID Fomoral. I feel really sad I made mine pink ID. I would change her back in a heartbeat. If I ever get mod sec again, she's going right back to white ID. I had so much fun with her, it was unreal. It's like, what, what run does she do? All of them. <laughs> the, the downside, though, is that uh, her episode 4 is a little weaker, but she anything where you need to host is an episode 1 or episode 2. She is really, really, really good. Plus, if you're looking for your own 13, which is a way if you just want to use uh, ATP. So, for example, you have Disco Brave Man that I gave you earlier. You get the armor 13. 13 drops in White ID. So you can actually farm your own. And the whole time you could get more Disco Brave Mans, which is her best item. I'm sorry, Opera Enjoyers. I am not an Opera Enjoyer. Where does it end? Good enough. Let's get some buffs. Yeah, White ID also gets Red Ring. What would I recommend for Purple Rawcast? What do you mean, what would I recommend? Like, what weapons would you be using? Confused. You recommend recommend a character for purple rock cast, and then you said character, but you you just put a character there. I mean, purple's fine as like most rangers. I would say like it might be a little difficult to do the episode four. Oh, and would I recommend? Oh, and would I recommend? Okay, that makes more sense. Um, maybe. I think the cap so they can do some interesting solo play. I don't know if I like them over raw moral in certain situations. So here's what I'm talking about. Episode four, uh, boss. I guess if you're feeling really comfortable, you could try it. I'm not saying it's impossible. I like it. I like it in multiplay. It's a, I like it in multiplay, but I don't think you're gonna get single play out of it. So think more if you want it to be multiplayer versus single player. Episode 4 is a great example where if you get Pew Pew Laser, Purple ID Pew Pew Laser means you can hunt for really nice things. Um, if you're looking to do a lot of solo tower, for example, it's generally easier with Raw Moral. But if you're looking for team play, Rock House is safe. So just realize you're probably committing... Just realize you're probably committing to multiplayer character for that ID. So you're not going to just casually do a lot of runs by himself. He's... 
Purple's good on Ranger. It's just make sure that you're able to hop into those games where it's relevant. So that depends more on the player than I would say the character. Because raw cast generally can handle everything. It's never a bad choice. Pretty much anywhere. It's just that sometimes people do a lot of quick solo runs. If you're looking for that kind of thing, raw cast will not lead you that way. But it's not too hard to get purple ID stuff. The other big one they do is like, uh... They're really, really good in caves compared to Raw Marl, for example. So if you ever feel like going in the Psycho 1 grind, they, they, they with Dressplate is kind of... They're kind of immortal. Uh, me, personally, I play purple Raw Marl all the time. It was one of my first rangers that I made, and she's probably my most used. I still think Raw Cast is good, though. I just prefer a lot of single-player play for uh, purple, specifically. Mostly because I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to do a lot of boring resets and people don't really want to join those. So I'm going to do that. But if you think, uh, if you, oh, there we go, I finally leveled. But if you think it would be useful, like, if you don't have a raw cast at all, then it's fine. You could just have that character. Yeah, having 20 buffs for towers is nice, exactly. So she's going to give you early access if you 502. Which is how I, I ended up getting mine. But as I said before, if you see the character is more of a multiplayer character, you can host a couple games and just have people support you. Rawcast is more than capable of being the DPS that you need. Just be aware that if you're looking to do leveling outside of the stream, it doesn't have a strong, like, red ring or anything like that, so people generally don't do it for that. They'll do it for very targeted hunts. Or maybe if you're lucky, you'll see people that just want vices and you'll get into some general games. But XP gain for that ID specifically is usually going to be much slower because it's not one of the more popular uh, red ring, RT selections, etc. So that's where you have to do a little more diligence. You have to look at like what the RBR is. Speaking of which, what is even the RBR? I have no idea. Let's learn together. Endless Nightmare 1, ill. Anomalous Ordeal 5, I think that one was okay. Sweep Up Operation 11. Hmm. Oh well, back to getting bodied. My team is somewhat congregated near me. Let me buff while I can. Yeah. Purple Raw Marl is probably my favorite. I, I would probably then put Raw Cast, to be honest. But with the mindset that it's going to be a multiplayer character, that I'm not going to be, like, trying to grind solo TTF on the character or anything like that, because it's not worth it. I think Raw Marl is also probably fine for purple. Honestly, pretty much any ranger is fine for purple. Yeah, Ramar gets the added bonus of being a late game carry. If you're looking to mix it a, a little bit up, he could technically still pew pew laser run if you're really desperate. Yeah, generally speaking, the meta will involve a lot of hue casts and a lot of raw casts. And a, and a single force. <laughs> Some combination of hue cast, raw cast. So you just might find it easier that even though he's purple ID, it's fine. You join whatever games you need to join, but then like you just slip into other people's TTFs as needed for levels. Gonna make a Raw Marl next for solo farming episode four. Yeah, I just find Raw Marl the easiest solo farm outside of uh, straight up phone men. Downside situational time beat means you might not be logged in at times that you could play and that could feel terrible. You're like, oops. I got three hours to play and I got about 30, e 30 minutes to even beat. Oh, yay.
chat 120 and 121. So many levels from this quest. All oh, that Gertabulu is so hosed. Goodbye, Gertabulu. The demons is coming. The midair freeze. There we go. <laughs> when they start to work, they all work at once. Just goodbye. Does someone want to make another Ralmar? Yeah, Ralmar is fairly safe. Rockcast is pretty safe. I don't know if I'd recommend Rockcast Seal, to be honest, unless you really like the aesthetic of the character. Just realize they're always going to be weaker than Rockcast. Or the situations you'd want to use them in. Well, I'll show you the difference between effective and group play versus solo play. Yeah, I think it's important to try a trap character at some point. So if you were thinking about it, I would say just go for it. Yeah, the thing with the raw cast is like, you're going to start leaning on stuff you don't use in multiplay. So you're going to be relying more on confused traps for normal waves as you start leveling. And then as you get to higher level play, you'll still use them occasionally, but it'll be mostly freeze traps to lock down the big bads and burst them with Charge Vulcan. Like this, basically what will happen every time. Oh, nice, finally a present. Wow, 800 HP and 900 HP respectively. Yeah, raw cast is basically unstoppable at high level. I have some fun playing with them solo. The thing with them, I would say that before you jump into a full-blown raw cast, make sure you have a mag that has Mila Eula. And please, if it's also Nidra, perfect. Either give it to Lysias or, or Nidra. Getting invincibility as the uh, cast is super important because you have limited healing. So when you have like a high level mag, I don't think you like really appreciate it until you don't have it. How good it feels to just not have to heal and go absolutely crazy with his ATP. He more than others is affected by it. Hughcast is similar. Like being able to just walk up to the boss and just berserk it to death is very satisfying. Versus like a slow struggle of maintaining monomates, dimates, and trimates. And stars. Okay, almost done with the wave. Let's get out of here. Nope, did not get out of there. Keep up time. <laughs> that just I just watched that health part of Lee. It was like 16,000 done. <laughs> no in between. Nice level up. GG. Okay, so that, that was the last cookie run. So I'm going to hold on to the th four cookies that are here. I'll cleave for next time. So sadly, no Heaven Striker. But lots of levels. Make the trade game. Okay. So we'll quickly trade with Hellcleave, my many, many, many ones. Okay. Yeah, let's do a quick trade. How do I leave mine? What do you mean? Oh, your team. Um... I don't know, Chad. Have you ever left a team before? I'm assuming it's at the... It's at the counter, right? Can you disband a team from the counter? I don't know if you can do it from the team menu. I've never tried. Yeah, it might be a lobby thing. Alright, so I'll join Hellcleave's game. I'm gonna put away... Kind of nothing. Oh, you're giving something back to me? We still have one more game. Keep it for now. We have one more game. 
Unless you're leaving, leaving. We're just switching. We're done with cookies. We're going to do one towards the future. To end the stream. And then I'll take it back then. Uh, get rid of that. I'll leave the character as is. How many power materials did I get today? Or this month? <laughs> Why am I at 95? <laughs> I, I swear, chat. Well, I'm officially capped on power materials. Uh, not specifically this character, but between this character and the, what's it called? My faux moral pink ID hosting. I ended up with apparently over 60 power materials. And I'm still holding 10, so whatever you want to do with the math there. 12, excuse me. Let me see. All the Rappy Speaks are there, then I can switch characters. So I'll join Hellcleave's trade game. There's a random store of Indra. I'm just going to pick it up arbitrarily. Just, I'll leave it. Somebody will want it eventually. So yeah, I'll, make, I'll switch over to my character bank that has them. Speaking of which... Rappy Oh, it's Rappi's big apostrophe. Oh, I couldn't find it. Who's got my wall of them? Is it the component character? Yeah. See that? Useful. I named the character component, figured it out. What does Hunter need for TTF? Uh I <laughs> that that is an excellent question. I feel like more often than not, it usually becomes Dark Flow. Uh, Charge Vulcan. I can't name any other weapons. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Like, I was gonna say, like, whatever you use on Falls, Ray Gun. I guess if you got an LNK with high hit, I guess that's okay. I guess that's okay. Okay. So let's join Hell Cleaves game. I'm gonna switch into my component character with my millions of rapid speaks. I might just keep literally one in case I change my mind, but obviously we have like 20 something, whatever. And that would reduce how many components the component character is carrying. So yeah, we're gonna do a quick game Hellcleave will make. I'm gonna join it, Bishamu can join it, and then we're gonna do a TTF as a group, the final TTF, final run of the day. Well, final run of the day on stream. More accurate statements. So I'm gonna join the game named Ziggy. I'm now in. Yeah, I like the look of this character. I don't like yellow ID on her necessarily. She might end up being a pink ranger if I get bored. So come join us, Bishamu. I'll leave one Rappi's Beak in my component list. And that's it. How many Rappi's Beaks am I holding? 18. I'm holding 18. Help me. Ooh, Heaven Striker zeroed? Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Monkey King Bar. We're doing TTF. We're getting items first, as I said before. Oh, that's all for me? There you go, Hulk Leave. Uh, well, good luck, Hulk Leave. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, yoink. There we go, now we're good. But those charged Vulcans and everything were for you. These lame, the Argents are for me. I got zeroed. Hell Laser, ooh. Interesting, thank you, Hulk Leave. Welcome, Maxile. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure they were separated. Yeah, we're good there. Okay. So I got some skills to or weapons to unlock later. 
What am I doing in terms of inventory space? Not bad. 170 is fine. I got a lot of techs. So that means I have another hell laser. You know what? Speaking of which, for our friend here, why don't you keep a 40 hit hell laser permanently? Ishimu. I think that'll help you. And I'll give you a... Do I have a low one of these? Let me check. Not. I don't see anything in there. That might be. I, I might have given that one away already. Okay, we'll leave it at that then. Yeah, the Hell Laser will help with Episode Two. Combine it with the V501, and V501 plus Spread Needle is pretty good lockdown for casts. You do box runs now, exactly. <laughs> Everybody starts somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to switch back to... I guess I'll play Viridian? I'm assuming somebody has buffs. Do you have buffs, Bishamu? Before we go further, do you have, like, shift to 20? Oh, hell, can we be forced? Never mind. Disregard. Let's not worry about that then. Okay. So let's go to C-Bank 3. So let's lobby, and let's do that. Yeah, so Lorgon, Zorlogon would be super good. Scarbrayman 13, pretty solid. Excalibur, oh yeah, I forgot Excalibur. Oops, yeah, Worm Boss. Yeah, bring your worm boss thing. I don't have any suggestions for monitor. Let the other players figure it out. If you want Imperameter, if you have a lot of Meseta to burn, if you want the Sinnoh room to go cleanly, you could bring in Jaya. It's also Excalibur Galatine. I mean on the, the monitor phase. I mean, you just you just sit there. You sit there and let somebody else do it. Phase two is, yeah, you Excalibur because you can multi-hit it. Uh, let's see. Let's make Ziggy TTF. <laughs> That's what the hunter brings to the monitor. They stare and judge you silently. Oh, that's true. He's playing Humar. I don't know why I thought he was Hugh for some reason. Silly me. Yeah, Hellcleave is light, right. Because on 15 with V801, stun locks the screen, technically. Oops. Oh, are you in a menu or something? It's not letting me invite you. Humar <laughs> looks at the monitor with despair. That's accurate. That That's pretty accurate. You're like, you want me to hit what in multiplayer? Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'll handle the monitor, though. Oh, this character level on this mission. Nice. So my goal of always leveling every day somebody with TTF <laughs> has now come to fruition. <laughs> it wasn't the Ramar today. It'll be her. There we go. Yeah, Bishamu is now pretty properly geared. So you can handle most things, you just need levels. And now that you have Charge Arm, this is the perfect area to Charge Arm, for example. Spend that Meseta, murder everything. Although that Slicer putting in the work with Hellcleave, not gonna lie. Seriously, I got a photon drop here and not in like the eight cookie runs we did. <laughs> Game, please. Roll your eyes sometimes. 13 good, 13 is really good. So for those not aware, it adds uh, base damage and 30 accuracy, I believe, to Disc of Liberator, Assassin, and more importantly, Brave Man. 
people use it for Brave Band because it's broken. Being able to berserk like that, especially with the SN glitch, means things die basically instantly. But yeah, this should make it way easier for you to hop into games in general. Oh, how cleave, how cleave flex in with the uh, 90 hit Vulcans. Just, uh, just don't mind me. Oh, almost max hit. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, does that level me? It does. Nice. Ooh. My yellow stats are more yellow. You get strong, strong, strong. Uh, that is actually impressive. Yeah, fortunately, I don't have to think. This character will always have the Excalibur. Honestly, at this point, Ramar will permanently have the Excalibur, too. I've been doing so much TTF, I don't feel like swapping it. I don't even need it to be a hit Excalibur. She has the hit Excalibur. But I could technically swap it over. Okay, I'm going to activate the next room, but I'm going to turn around and kill the other room, if that makes sense to the group. I'm going to greed for a red sword. Have fun in there. We call this upping the present chances. Got excited, I heard a drop. I'll take a telepipe back eventually. I'm coming in. Such a greedy clear. That's so greedy. <laughs> Did it spawn yet or no? If not, that's hilarious. Wow, I was actually on time for this? Wow. I can't believe that. How was I on time? Not punished. <laughs> oh, episode 1 TTF. You don't make any sense. Um. Ooh, I don't have a lot of healing. I must have done a run and just forgotten to do that. 7 try mate should be fine for the boss. It's just, I, I was going to heal with uh, mates before this boss, and I went, oops, wait, no, maybe I shouldn't do that. I need a couple later. Random pew pew laser. Oh, is that from the, the, the uh, striker mag from earlier? Yeah, because it's even beat, you'll be lasering versus the sacrificial special. It's not very good. It is useful, though, for uh, fall spinners. So when we come to fight falls, like one pew pew laser should basically annihilate the arena on the plus side. A little confused drop down. We call that a little, a little gift to them. Goodbye, Sinnoh Red. You know what? I feel like being cruel and vindictive. I'm going to put another Confused Trap down. Wow, they actually almost killed each other completely. That almost never happens. So again, that, that was like four more odds of presence chat. <laughs> I'm going for greedy kills on the way there without slowing down too much. Got a free kill on my way there. We'll take that. Um, probably shouldn't have gone in first, but that's fine. We're here now. We we live with our decisions, and we make chat live through with them too. So if I'd stayed there, I could have freeze trapped more appropriately. Let's kill you real quick. Okay, I'll deal with the first couple of waves with the team. So this is one that I'm gonna deal with, and then I'm gonna come back later for that one. I'm going to put a Confuse Trap there, so that way the brands destroy themselves. And then I assist with the final kind of kills here. 1300 damage is so high. And we want them to kind of jump at us.
Not bad. Hmm, there's escape doll right on the other side of this. I think I'll scoop it up. Make that safety revive. I'll deal with these two robots. Check and hit the switch that's to the north of me. Ooh, almost got laser to death. That was close. That should be fine. Okay, so now we'll we'll spread needle to the best of our abilities. No, don't shoot it. So with this boss, you might notice that when I shoot every, the first and third shot has five damage numbers. The second time I shoot has four. The boss has iframes. So if you hit too quickly, it's not going to register the damage. Downside, Spread Needles get it stun locking, but it also still hits fast enough that it damages the monitors. The reason we don't want to do that is that if you shoot in that window, so let's say I hit it and then somebody else hits it, that's damage done to the monitors, so less time to stun lock the boss. Did I seriously get more photon drops here than eight of those other runs? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, you reduce how many chances you have to actually hit the boss for damage per monitor. And if a lot of people do that, then it can actually make it, it force you to kill the turrets, which is unfortunate. So the game checks your ATP. I have the highest ATP, period, I'm pretty sure, on the team, even compared to Humar. Oh. Uh. Let's, let's go for fast route here. Do the zigzag. I got tagged there, but I don't think it'll matter. I didn't think it would. Uh oh, did somebody go up? Yeah, there we go. Thank you. As long as somebody goes up there, we're good. So we're not doing green ID, we're doing Viridian. So we're just not, we're not going to bother with Andy Belrose. So I'm just going to kill them and then we'll put down a telepipe for the team. So I don't think Viridian has anything interesting on Andy Belrose to my knowledge. It's not like green ID where you get heavenlies or whatever. Alright, so if you got Das Pew Pew Laser, because it's still even beat, uh, just occasionally tap the button every now and then, and it should basically nuke the entire screen. So that will be your preferred method. I'm going to use it for the normal attack, because my ATP is maxed, therefore I can just one-tap a lot of these things. And the reason why we bring in, like, high ATP weapons here is that if we root ourselves in place with, like, a shotgun or a bazooka comparatively, uh, we will probably get hit by spinners, whereas with Pew Pew Laser, we can potentially just one-shot them no matter what. If we have to shoot twice, it's not bad, given you have good coverage. Yeah, last one's also a good alternative, because the triple shot is pretty quick. So it's likely to do the about 300 damage you need to do. Otherwise, just a couple of pew pews and everything dies. Yeah, see that did 521? Goodbye. The best part is you can stay at a quite a distance from it. So you could just play it safe and vaguely look at something and it'll probably die. Okay. So for this phase, we're... I mean, I'm going to focus here. Somebody will end up dealing with the central head to stop the spinners. Or we can just burst the boss. All are valid options. As long as it gets the Lord. Yeah, it's a Lord 30. GG. Goodbye. Then we're going to... I'm going to hold up because I know it's going to be targetable in front of me. So I'm going to take my pot shots here.
I'm choose to walk backwards. Ooh. I went diagonal by accident. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, thank you for the heal. Again, we're gonna go to the side, then we go to the middle when we're done. Ooh, perfect. A phase where it doesn't move. That is ultra ideal. So make sure if you're below 700-ish health, if you are injured, probably pop a quick monomate if you have it on your toolbar or a dimate. And then uh, that will make it so that this, even if you get swiped, you don't die, but you don't lose a lot of time opening your item menu to quick heal. I think that's also where like small menu optimizations matter because you only get a few seconds at the boss. So anytime you're forced to like even resting is kind of slow. You're stopping yourself from attacking potentially once or twice. If you have Foey, I would use Foey. Even if it doesn't do a lot of damage, it is just damage. Oh, you're targeting me? Oh. Well, that's just rude. So you can see I started berserking there. I took like 4,000 to him. So I'm like, come on, Dark Falls. Let's go. Rest in peace, Hulk Leaf. You were cruelly deleted by Heaven Striker. Ooh, there we go. I think I saw one of my crits, and then I think last one got the last touch. GG. Nice and easy, simple. Tons of XP. So at least you could say, hey, I got strong enough that I basically made it through TTF? Question mark as a group. Ooh, 13 minute flat? Nice. That was fast. We were not messing around with falls. <laughs> we just waved our finger at falls. Like, listen, we know you're just gonna give us, like, die fluid or whatever is the cast, but... Got places to be. Yeah, let's feed our mag a little bit more. Actually, should have used moons there. Whatever. I'm going to restock for next time, so I don't forget to do that. Hopefully everybody had fun today. If you joined in the games, or if you watched, hopefully you enjoyed us messing around with the many, many cookie quests, or leveling through alternate quests. I will need the mag back, though. Yeah, I'll just need the, uh, the super mag. There we go. Yeah, that's a, a hopefully a whole lot of gear that'll get you comfortable with just trying different areas. Either through the quest guide or just seeing what people are running. You are most definitely suited for things now. Okay, question. How many photon drops am I up to? 25, so 99, 99. 80, 25? Yeah, I have a lot. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out some trades later. <laughs> I'll think about it. Yeah, I love this character's using Heavenly. Like, can I just let equip this? Is she max without this now? 1173 versus... She's one level from capping. Seriously? That's so sad. She's so close, chat. She might need two levels for defense, but everything else is looking amazing. She's already max ATA. That's gonna feel good to get rid of this. So she's using it out of now for accuracy. Does she even need it? She's using six. If she's got a heavenly on, she's pretty close. I'll keep it on because I like the resist. Although eventually I just might move that to uh, heavenly resist instead. Just because I don't feel like swapping sometimes. So she's one level away from not needing Heavenly to cap. Which is going to be a good feeling. And that means she can have a permanent V5 unit on. So permanent V5. Permanent V101 is already on her. And she has two floating slots and one of them's more for protection anyway. So it feels pretty solid. Nice. Okay, chat, it is time for me to get some food, but we'll do some discussions. Are any more XP runs today? No. 
I'm wrapping up. It's been a long, long, long stream. I thought about doing some at the end, but sorry if you're waiting for that. We're going on almost 10 hours at this point. I think I need a break. If you are on Discord, if you were on later tonight, I will do like maybe an hour of stuff with you. But I need to unwind from PSO. <laughs> We've done almost literally, uh, literally almost 10 hours. So I think from that perspective, chat, uh, we'll continue to fit in some XP runs, I think, on Wednesday. And that'll be suited for anybody that's looking for 1 to 80. Uh, just make sure to show up, because otherwise we'll switch over to different types of runs. Um, other than that, I can't think of anything else in terms of XP week. Maybe we'll slip in a bonus game or two, like early on Tuesday or something. We'll see. TBD. But from the perspective of this particular video slash VOD, I believe we've hit the conclusion of it. So, Chad, if you'd like to say goodbye to YouTube, I'm going to thank everybody that watched this point in the video or the VOD, and hope to see you again next time.